lot of it, like Jimmy said, is like speaking with more than just your like your mouth. Hand gestures. Just or, whipping it out. Yeah. <laughs> Which country gives the best? Thailand. Okay. Hell no. Oh. Where'd you get your hairstyle from? <laughs> Little Jungkook wannabe? <laughs> Instead of Jungkook, you're Juan Cook. <laughs> Welcome back to Under the Influence, the juiciest show on the internet. And today we have Jimmy Zhang, one of YouTube's OG, incel turned Instagram baddie. What the fuck, incel? That you started, come on, you didn't. Okay, man, well. <laughs> Would you not say that's what you started as? No, we started uh, uh, roasting. Hey, but now you went in. No, 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 no. Insulting the guests. I thought that was a compliment. You went from incel to Instagram baddie. Uh, you didn't let me finish the sentence. Uh, uh, <laughs> No, you didn't, no, no. You didn't like that no, intro? I, I think it's okay. okay. Think Anyways, fine. Jimmy is well known to oh, Jimmy is known to be well a well seasoned man in life and in women. And today's episode, we're gonna talk about everything from traveling tips, finding out if love in America is doomed, and where are the best places to in the world to find your true love. Mm -hmm. And in addition to Jimmy, we have Gabe and Eddie. They used to date, but since breaking up, they too have also been traveling the world to find what love really means. And so, before we dive in, I need you to hit the like and subscribe button right now at the same time. And I'd also like to introduce my host on the far, far, far right at the end of the table with the biggest meat at the table. <laughs> my name is Vitch Rap. And my name is Esther. My name is Jeremy, and we are sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Hard, Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique Asian flavors, no weird aftertaste. We got some crazy news as well. We're in Costco, Hawaii. By the time this episode comes out, you probably got to see us out there. We're, and we're in Safeway, Northern California, Fred Myers, Washington, Ralph's in SoCal, Texas HEB, and New York City. We're coming to you soon with some other surprises. Mm. Hit the number in the description. Awesome. Let's begin w the script. episode. W script. Costco, wholesale. Yes, sir. Yeah. Seven Costco's in Hawaii. Oh, my God. Yeah, making big daddy moves, so... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> As we get into these stories, uh, just just understand that I'm baiting them and just trying to give them the most. I'm trying to give. I'm trying to get them to give the loudest performance, basically, of all their travel stories, and things are going to be embellished. So take it with a grain of salt. We are. Uh, we're we're very excited to have you guys here. And the theme of the show is you guys are. I've been traveling a lot. A little bit, little bit. Took took, uh, hey, took this man. Did, did this man forget he's on the? You went little bit, little bit. Stay oh, close yeah, to the mic. Yeah, yeah, pointed yeah, yeah. at you. <laughs> Twist it, Eddie. Help him out, please. Like this? No, no. Oh, wow. oh. So point at it, and you can move back with it, but just stay right, here. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. And it moves. It's uh, yeah. Wow. Some things never change. Yeah. Some things never change. That's why I stopped doing podcasts. Yeah. Right. I, I, I can't. I can't figure out the mic situation. Yeah, the mic Are you is not doing tough. it anymore. No, no, no. I stopped it. I stopped it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, he just really? kept moving further and further. Away yeah, from yeah. The mic. I just couldn't get figure out the audio, so I'm just like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just quit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the best way, you know. Yeah. If you can't figure it out, give up. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why can't yeah, I? Is, is, and is these two ain't even holding their mics. <laughs> now I'm gonna start asking kid. questions. I haven't talked. Okay, good. Put the mic uh, down. Yeah, okay, but season vet on this. You just gotta uh, be ready, vet. Yeah, but we have been traveling a whole. Remember, lot. remember when Eden was like, "Vit's the only one that ever keeps the mic close to his mouth when he talks." Yeah. Don't worry about me. Damn. Damn. Okay, and you lucky you at the end of the table, son. <laughs> Why? Well, <I>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cartoon sounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, yo, Eddie's holding me back. That's just on you. What? <laughs> anyways, no, I want to see this fight. I'm gonna let him go. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, hey, we're getting distracted here. Grab me. Wait, first of all, like you guys have been traveling a lot, and I would like, I would like you guys just to list off, Jimmy. Start with you. What was your like rank? Your top three? Actually, list off the places that you've been in the last year up until now. Last year. God damn. We, we started off with. Thailand. We started off with Thailand as number one. Yeah. Right? Bangkok and Phuket. Thailand. We went to Hong Kong. We went to Japan. Japan. After Japan. Colombia, Brazil. Colombia, Brazil, Toronto. Toronto. Damn. Uh, Taiwan. What else we got? Australia. 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 Uh, that was in the last year. Yeah. I think. And Tahoe. And Tahoe. Yeah. That counts. Oh, and Brazil. Brazil. Did we say Brazil? Brazil. Oh, yeah, Brazil. Brazil. Damn. Brazil. Damn, what you guys else? went to a lot of places. What about you, Mr. Edward? Columbia, Brazil. Yeah, Columbia, he came with us. Brazil. He came with us. Oh, wait, nice. Went to San Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah. First time in San Diego. Mr. Vitt, what about you? 
We saw out of the country. Just anywhere. If you try, I'd say out of California counts. Mm. New Hawaii. York, Hawaii, Hawaii yeah. New York, Hawaii, Miami. Oh, Miami, yeah. Nice. I think that's it. San Diego. And the purpose of this episode is we're trying to find out, right? The world is such a big, big place, and right. the internet has united us. Is like, is is love really doomed in America, and is it better <sighs> elsewhere Dude. around this world? So. Real quick off the bat, though, we just want to do some rankings. So, out of all the places, what which place had the best food? Like, name your like your top two. Mm. Oh, Taiwan. <sighs> oh, by far, Taiwan had the best food. Really? Well, concur. He looks like hey, he's disagreeing. <laughs> I know, but I can't. This one. Oh, got it. Oh, oh yeah. but he, he didn't come to Taiwan. That part we did solo trips. So I went to New York. He went to Taiwan. But I would say I say Thailand. Thailand was pretty busted. Ooh. Thailand was just because it was so cheap. It was dirt cheap, but it was good. It was right. like five star spots for like thirty bucks. So like what? Like what are you eating out there? But because Thai, Thai, huh? Thailand. Oh, you said Thai, Th- Thailand. Thai, Thai food. So so like like chicken curry and and pad Thai and mm. and <laughs> like that. And you said <laughs> be on a said, stick. Huh? You said Thailand was your. favorite? I probably say Japan though. To be honest. Japan? Yeah, right. Japan. Oh man, I was living my my weeb dream out there. <laughs> Just pressing a button on a vending machine and ramen comes out. But don't you have to eat alone out there? No. I thought I thought you could. Like, you could. They There's, have like solo K B B Q boots. There's like solo like ramen boots. They took Korean barbecue from us. Yeah. No, they have Japanese barbecue. They have like the A five Wagyu things and oh, everything. Got it. Yeah, yeah. And then what about uh, what about you, Eddie? I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, I really didn't travel much outside of the. the but country. Brazil and Colombia is, is the cuisine. I mean, between those two, hands down, Colombia. I was not f-ing Brazil like that. Okay, what about <laughs> Colum- Colombia or America? Mm, food. <clears throat> what? Food oh, wise. Colombia. It's just it's literally one fourth of the cost for like food that doesn't make you sick. Yeah. And they have fire Korean barbecue out there. I was surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I tried yeah. Korean barbecue out there, cheap as hell, and, and just also bomb. The, just, the sushi's good, the pasta's like anything in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Italian for some reason, when we would eat, like, you know, you get like sluggish and stuff out there, like, we would eat and then we would still be good. Like, I don't know what they don't put in the food compared to us. Dude, I had the same experience when I went to Poland. And the food is so fresh because it's not filled with add- additives. In Poland, it's all like pierogies are their version of dumplings. Mm-hmm. It's bread and meat. Bread and meat. And I was like, oh, boy. But is it good? It's really good. You and don't I, feel full afterwards. Yeah, you feel good. You can yeah. gorge and then you, you don't get that sleepiness. Yeah. And I was, that's when I realized our food is funky in America. Yeah. Also, something that I noticed that was really interesting is that like their uh, their eggs are like... So there's like, you know how there's yellow, uh, yellow yolk and then there's orange yolk? Their uh, oak, uh, yolk is orange. Uh, which is like more nutritious, and yep. then on top of that, their uh, bacon was really interesting because it's like actually more meat. I think it's like eighty percent more meat mm. versus like here. It's like I'd say it's like sixty percent fat, and it's still it's it's also cheap out there too. It's yeah, it's cheap. Also, something interesting what you said about good Korean barbecue things like that is because there's a ton of Asians that immigrate to you know they think they're going to America, but they go to South America. They miss. They, they miss the routes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's mm-hmm. ton. Like, all my cousins are from South America. Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't think they missed. I think they purposely had. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, that was like kind of crazy. What do y'all call that uh, when you're sleepy after you eat? What do you guys call that? You got, right? Yeah. Bro, I'll be saying itis sometimes and people are like, what? I'm like, food coma. It's, it is food coma. It's I never but it's like, okay, so I grew it's up saying the itis. Too. Yeah. I think the itis comes from like, uh, like. It's derogatory. What, yeah, it's a derogatory term like used in like what, what do they call it? Like the black like plague? Black no black words. <laughs> oh. Wait, Please cut this out if that sounds racist. Uh, uh, Wait, what? The black what? It's what what's Nothing. the what do you when you talk a certain way? If you talk ghetto, you're talking like uh, black. Uh, hood? Ebonics? <laughs> Ebonics. I almost said Ebonics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ebonics, yeah, yeah. You guys read the dictionaries? How is that racist? What? Yeah, no, I'm just saying no, that no, they no. The, it's the, the, short for it's short I think it's short for something and it's because I don't, somebody I don't know, man. I we, got, we got six phones on this table. Yeah, it's, it comes it from, up. like, if I'm not mistaken, it's like when you eat soul food, you get the itis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's like, that's mm-hmm. what it is when you're eating, like, soul food. So you don't use it for everything else. But oh, yes, soul I, food. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, that's where it comes no, from. No, I, I agree with you. I don't think it's <coughs> a, a good word to use. Yeah, I use it all the time. time. That's what just we always use. I hate yeah. saying food coma. Yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah. What about, uh? so, wait, why, what did you not like? What was your, I mean... What did you not like about Brazil? Because I feel like they're so... They're it's a lot heavier. Oh, and heavier. it's also like, there's just like, they're, first of all, their their Italian was whack. Like, it was literally the worst pasta I ever had, worst pizza I ever had. Surprise, it's <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but just it's just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying like, like, I don't know, I guess I was expecting better because like a lot of people hyped up Brazil. 
Um, everything the just, acai bowls was fire. Oh the my acai, god! Okay, that's that, the acai. Literally, oh. I think about it to this day. Like that wow. shit was so gas. No, honestly, it that's feels like, like it cleanses your entire system. Damn, that's like one of my it, favorite foods, and they got it. They fucking. They got what's it. the difference? How much better though? could it be? Yeah, nah, it's like, like straight from the, the rainforest. Like, trust me, just alone the first bite, you're like, oh, this is different. Like it's Damn. lighter, feels healthier. It's kind of like the way. Would you have poke out here, or would you have poke in like like uh, in Hawaii? Uh, Hawaii. I'll eat it True. here. I don't really care. No, no, no. It tastes different in Hawaii. No, I'm not gonna lie. It's they're both. If you go to the right spots here, if the fish is fresh, it's just as good. I'm not gonna lie. But it's not gonna I be handle fish ever all the time. as good as Hawaii. Hawaii okay. is consistently good. You can go to saying. Foodland supermarket and it's like top tier. Tastes That's like the saying. best place here. That's the difference. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So uh, what, what what had the best what had the best nightlife or like what's the, what what had the best light nightlife and living experience? Probably Japan. Mm, well, you, yeah, it's probably Japan, yeah, either Japan or, or Taiwan. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't know. I can't speak yeah. on Taiwan. You was going crazy in Taiwan. Oh, and he was there doing their New Year's too. What, what was what was crazy about? Well, because here's the thing: Taiwan has the best of Japan with in, in the you know the little Seven Elevens, the, the convenience stores is everywhere, and then people was just so nice to me, and because it, it was such a liberal place, Taiwan, right? I think they literally have a female president. So wow. e- even like even me going inside the clubs with a DSLR camera they were just like oh yeah, yeah come right in yeah yeah and it was just like everybody was so nice and chill everybody was like on the streets talk to me, talking to each other what? it felt like the whole city was a community why, why do you think that what do they do differently like I, I, I don't know it's just something no in, tax like what is the government uh, doing I, you know I wish I knew politics <laughs> but I, I do not I, I was gonna ask uh, oh, oh I think gay rights were was, was first like uh, or gay marriage was first legalized uh, in, in Taiwan. That's oh, oh, I got I got a question. Uh, so Taiwan, I don't know nothing about Taiwan. So right. like they speak, like you speak Mandarin. Mandarin. They yeah. speak Mandarin there. Yeah. So just like for me, like I, I thoroughly enjoy Colombia because I speak the language. Mm. Do you th- do you think like it was also? Oh yeah, have, <laughs> like you, you get like so many points for for just speaking the language, okay. and then, and then and then you could like throw in the little English there, like uh-huh. here and there to like microphone, wow please. Them. <laughs> right, <laughs> and then, <laughs> microphone, please. Right, and then yeah. right, right, because I, I saw you Mac in, in, in Colombia, right? And, oh, maybe I don't want to say <laughs> that. That's what this episode that's is about. Right, 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 but, 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 but then it's like you would throw in the little English here and there, and they're like, "Oh wow, he like he like from America." That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. And then it's just like it's just an extra little like, oh wow. Well, so let me flip his question. So. Removing those things, let's take out Taiwan uh, experience. Mm. What are the countries that you don't speak the native language that you enjoyed? Ooh, Colombia. This guy taking over the interview. <laughs> probably probably Colombia. That's interesting because you didn't speak a lick of Spanish. I didn't, I didn't speak a lick. Okay. He just all right, liked, all he right. just liked what he saw. They, they, were, they <laughs> were nice. <laughs> <laughs> they, they Before we dive in hard into these types of questions, we'll, we'll, it shall get it'll get good. Um, uh, what I'd like to know is. Where did America benefit you the most? Where did being American benefit you the most? Which country? Being American benefited me the most? Mm-hmm. I say Japan for me. Explain why. So. Because like, <clears throat> I already don't look like I blend in, right? So just <laughs> walk around the club, like they would see me and they would be like, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm born in New York, but I live in LA. And they're like, what? Hollywood! United States! Okay, I don't and know they're if they're like, <laughs> Going, going, going. Going. Oh, this is yeah. great. And then they were just like, I, never have I like just looked how I am. Like I felt like a because I would just walk and they would pull me to the table, offer me shots and everything. And I'm wow. just like, yo. And then they would ask me questions about like simple as like, you got a subway? How you, <laughs> how's the subway different? It's, it's just random. Like, so you were like a celebrity almost. It felt even with the women too. It felt they like they want to take pictures of you with you. Okay, I'm not like eight feet. No, no, no. Just thought, you know, <laughs> they got Americans there. <laughs> no, but it, it was definitely hella interesting. Just being treated, you know. Usually at a club, you're kind of invisible, but there, like, I was noticed. But then also, like, just instant curiosity or cool. You know, they think wow. Americans are cool there. Hey, girls were throwing themselves at you. Yeah. 
But then, like, like to, to what degree? They just want to, like, talk to you for a little bit, and then they realize you, there's a language barrier. They're like, nah, Multiple let me degrees. try. No, no, no. Multiple Gabe degrees. is so good with the international, like, Google Translate Riz. I've mastered it. Right, right. He, <sighs> he's, this is good. And, and he's mastered the, the little subtle, like, like, like nuances of... of the, they're broken English. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty beautiful. Yeah, yeah eventually it'll. Like <laughs> yeah, it'll kill you. I know, but for the people that do, we use very, very high quality extract, so we make it as healthy as possible. Yeah, it's not good for your physical body. Yeah, but it's fun. Body drinks down the hill. Oh, careful. <laughs> on the freeway on the ocean. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna say, Oh yeah, I remember like, that girl that came to my booth and she told me like about that. that. <laughs> I didn't listen to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One guy really quite that guy because I'm drinking alcohol. Okay, well it's an alcohol brand. This is what pays our bills and we love our products, so I was a teenager once. Yeah. I didn't know any better. Yeah. I know better now. Good for you, good for you. Stay healthy. <laughs> how do you how do you riz up a woman in another country when you don't speak the same language? It, it takes like practice because like first you got to understand what they're saying and then you got to figure out how to translate what you're saying without like the language. Yeah, but if you don't understand what they're saying, do you hold out your your phone and ask them to translate themselves? If they know some English, then I would just say like use whatever words and then I would like piece it together like a code puzzle and then <laughs> figure out what they're actually trying to say. Like you know, because they would use like more like elementary level terms mm -hmm. to like describe it. And then, yeah, a lot of it, like Jimmy said, is like speaking with more than just your, like your mouth. So it's like face expressions or like hand gestures. Just or, whipping it out. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't even ask for I just. It's, it's like body language as well. Yeah. But, okay. But don't they kind of think it's cute when you don't speak the language and you're just trying try to describe and they're just no, like, it's, it's, like it's, it's like this. It's like this, right? It's like uh, they'll speak like, oh, I like you. Maybe. <laughs> and, 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 and then Gabe will know exactly what that means. He'll like translate. Oh, she kind of likes me, but like, come on, like explain. Come on, <laughs> help, help, help like, him out he'll, here. He'll dissect everything off of those four words, like uh -huh. how she's feeling emotionally, where where he could take the night, and then like, and then how, how do you respond? Is. Yeah, then what are you responding on Google Translate? And then he'll he'll say like three words too, and then the girl's like, oh, okay, we go yeah. to a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, drop some sauce. You're acting mad shy. Maybe this is like, a podcast. Like, drop the blueprint. Like Korean. Let's, let's try it out. Uh, annyeong. <laughs> not take a kill. Ah, how are you? How are you? Uh, My name Gabe. What's what's your name? Nadim and Chunsu. Chunsu. Fuck. If it was like Japan, I'd be like uh, Kawaii Chunsu. <laughs> and, and that's me saying like I think you're cute. You know, if uh, I don't know it, like I would try to learn like as many like baby words as well. To oh. kind of tell it to them, you know, because mm -hmm. Kawhi is like cute, cute. But then like, oh, I also I also learned like ordering at the at the restaurant. Like they would say like kore, kore. It means like I want this. So I'd be like kore. Actually, now that I think about it, nice. he did that shit in Colombia. It was mad funny. <laughs> okay, he, okay. He would just he would pull me to the side. I'm like, how how do you say this word? I'm like, oh, you want to say this? He's like, no, just give me the word. Yeah, because yeah. like one word, I could use it like yeah. 18 oh, different times. He, he realized he, realized he don't Wait, need the on. sentence. He's like, I, the sentence is confusing. Okay, Esther. Kore means whale in Korean. Whale? <laughs> well? Whale. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to Korea, you're like, Kore. What the fuck? Yeah, Shakya, da, Kore, Ania. Babo. I'm talking to my man like that. No, but you No, Kochu Mogole. No, no, Kochu Mogole. Oh, you go to Smoka. Yeah. Okay, but you know what? I said I wanted to eat your. Uh, oh what? <laughs> yeah, you missed. You missed out. You could have had me. Uh, well, but I will say, I like, just that. like in, in that setting for like the people that are watching. Like, if you're going to there, it's it's just like a vibe too. You know, like vibe is heavy because if they don't. They're they're listening to you talk, and then they're like, "What the fuck is this guy saying?" But if he's smiling, he's vibing. Like you, you're already ahead of like guys that are just like Google Translate, like. No, no, some yeah. of the guys wouldn't even you know, know that, translate, though. That's that the thing. Yeah. Some funny. guys would just tr speak normal English and expect them to understand. <laughs> how how dumb you got to be to do that? Are you telling me? Yeah. Okay, so that's Gabe's. That's Gabe's, right. Gabe's little tip. Learn a couple words. It's your vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what would you add on to that? Okay, so I, I bought before I, I went out, I, I bought this, like, like uh, this translator, oh, like, uh, 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 machine. So, so basically, I press a button, I speak English, and it just shoots out like Spanish. It shoots out J Japanese. Instant. Instant. Is and it anyway. accurate? <laughs> <laughs> 
even if it's not, it's funny as hell. Yeah, it's like a pocket series. Okay. You can get away with a lot of things when you when they know that you don't speak the language too. Oh yeah, imagine. Wait, so okay, so you use that machine and that that worked well. That worked decently, you know. It's it it just be and then they could speak into it. It shoots back English and you know it was just that till the bedroom but would you <laughs> that's yeah that's that's what i'm also curious about right like how are you building rapport in your setting right how are yeah. you building rapport eye contact mm. eye contact vibes gestures uh you know smirking smiling like like i wouldn't just know like words to know how to like ask for a bathroom or like find things and then i would know like the basics for like flirting mm. yeah and would you say that your guy... Okay, actually, let me repeat the question. Where would you say you had the 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 best opportunities with women? Or where did you say it was easiest to talk to women in a foreign country that you didn't know the language? That I didn't know the language? Yeah. Uh, so who I, I guess who had the most receptive, like, energy, mm-hmm. right? I still feel like it was Taiwan, just because even though I, like, I spoke the language, Home people were just still just very open to talking to strangers mm. you know they just they would like wave at the camera too really yeah, yeah. that's pretty like, rare okay wait so let, let's talk about taiwan so you know gabe said that you had a, a lot of success out there the and, and talking okay. to you success Sounds financial like there's a lot. financial success financial, financial success, success. Yeah, financial yeah, yeah, success. yeah good trip but uh yeah so so like going out there you're you're making videos or whatnot and then mm. like what you meet the love of your life? No, I didn't meet the love of my life. Uh, I wish, maybe one day, but no, not 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 recently. Um, so this is the first trip I, I went without Gabe in like a long time, and then I I touched down in Taiwan just cause on a on a whim on just like fuck it, let me just not be in America for New Year's for once, and and yeah, I touched down knowing like one friend of a friend and. I swear to you, this is like, I felt, it was like a a feeling of, of being liberated, but also just like, like if, like this could be the trip or the, or I could make the most out of this trip. Mm-hmm. And I decided to just make the most, I, the thing I've learned about like traveling abroad is second degree connections. It's like who you know that knows somebody else in that country, mm. right? And it's just like, so you think back to your circle, who might have international connections? So before going out there, I would hit up like Matt from Apollo. I was like, oh, do, do you know anybody like in Taiwan or like, you know, uh, stuff like that. And then he introduced me to somebody. And then also another friend introduced me to somebody in Taiwan. So it's like second degree connections, I realized is so valuable before you go out there. Smart. And um, so I, I had a little bit of these uh, like around town. And then I also had like friends flying into Taiwan. So that also just, it was like, a, Taiwan is actually like such a good fire spot to spend New Year's. It's beautiful. Mm. And like uh, for a lot of international kids. Um, and then just, what was, it, what, was it, what was it going with that thought? I had a thought somewhere. Hey, but, but on that tip, uh, that's also a good little like diversion. It's like preparing to go into a country, you name one good things, find <laughs> mutuals, yeah. ask your friends to introduce you to people that live there. Right. But are, are you ever reaching out to your, your million, millions of followers and being like, who do you know out here? Or that's kind of... A, a, a little bit. I, I did that. But it's like that, it, it's, a, it's, it's like a, a gamble. But if I know somebody that knows somebody, that's more of like, it's, it's low risk. It's like, I feel there's more trust involved in that relationship. Do you ever feel annoying? Like, like let's say you hit them up and your friend connects you to somebody and you hit them up when you touch down and they're not really that responsive and they're not giving you the time I mean, of day. Does I mean, that sure, that's, that happens, but you just make... It's about like quantity. You just hit up as many people as possible. Oh, okay, okay. And then, I mean, same applies to like if you're single and you're dating and be on the apps, be on Bumble, Tinder, do, 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 do the, pay, pay the $50, you know. Wait, so I, is, I, Bumble, I, is Bumble, Tinder, and Hinge all international? It's all international. Oh, so you can, you can set it up ahead of time. You, you could, I found no success. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's not even on my pictures. I don't know what it is. They just, it takes so much time to actually like meet up with somebody. Think about it. Like Damn. you, you match with somebody that you're attracted to, right? And nine times 10, well, for us guys, it's a lot better internationally but then again it's it's girls be like covering their face like 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 this <laughs> I, I have the picture i don't even see them but it's like but then it's, there's like the language barrier and then sometimes you got to wait like 10 hours for them to reply back to you it is you. a waste of time while you're there yeah, yeah exactly yeah. compared to if i just went out on the streets and just talked to people and with <laughs> like people are already like drinking celebrating and 
Would you say that uh, women in America or women overseas are more uh, approachable from the cold approach, like just walking up oh. to them? I would say... Depends on what area you're in, right? Like here, if like, if we're in West Hollywood and we're in Nightingale and it's like a bunch of like bougie white women, mm. it, probably not. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, th- this favorite spot. But anyways... <laughs> Nightingale? Oh no, that's <laughs> no. no. Well anyways, but, but like that, yeah. that, that's kind of like the, the vibe, right? But then th- there's some, certain places in like Taiwan, Japan... Uh, that are just a lot more, you know, a lot out in the open. You know, you you see people hanging out and like it's it, it's a rowdy place, and it's like that's more receptive for you to just go up to someone like, oh hey, what's what's the occasion? You know what? Out of all the countries you guys have been to, and also your experience, even where you went to Brazil, Colombia, yeah. W- what was the what was the vibe like? Like it was easy to go up to to strangers, men or women, and talk to them and make friends. I'd say all of them. Like it really depends, like how much of a tour spot this is. Because if you think about it, since it's a tour spot, then they have a lot of people already traveling, <clears throat> and they already have a lot of people just trying to do the same thing. Mm. So like L.A., it's like you know I don't think there's many tourists. So like people here don't expect like to get approached by like foreigners and stuff. But like in Japan, like you know, super huge for tourism. So there, they kind of like. You know, they're also very polite, so they kind of expect, like, people to come up to them. And then, like, they're very helping strangers and everything. Uh, what would you guys say? What? It's like <laughs> <laughs> the, the place that, like, is the best for approaching random people. Colombia was cool. Japan are very shy, so probably yeah, not Korea so much Korea the that. worst. Yeah. I Korea would, the worst. So. Yeah, super. Ba- 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 far. Oh. There's is sort it? of reserved, I had some love in Korea. A little standoffish. Yeah, when I hear about your guys' stories, so the places that I've been abroad is Poland. The people are nice, but like the nightlife was low key. Like it was just very hard to talk to people. What? It was doogie. I mean, everybody was just like very much like I can't speak. The, yeah, they're not very warm. They weren't. They yeah. weren't warm. It doesn't sound like Taiwan or, or South America. I've been yeah. to South America. Very warm. Also. uh I went to Korea and it was also just very. Korea, they racist. Gabe got rejected from from some clubs. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I'm sorry. Hey, people suck. Hey, huh? yo. <laughs> that, that was a wild hey, man. statement. <laughs> Where'd you get your hairstyle from? <laughs> Little Jungkook wannabe. <laughs> oh. hey. hey, instead of Jungkook, you're Juan Cook. <laughs> oh, that was a I good one. I hope everyone one. sees that was, who that was, he that was a good is for real. Oh um, man. Actually. What? What? Yeah. Yeah, Korea. I mean, I, yeah, they're very. Watch your mouth about Korea. Move on. Other <laughs> country. <laughs> no, I agree. I Not agree. from what everyone, when I was been told, everyone that's visited Korea, uh, like not even from these two, just other people that I've met, like they told me that they're just very, like, cold. Very reserved, very yeah, keep yeah. to themselves. I heard the same thing for parts of Colombia. Like, it's just we just so happened to go to the Medellin, which is like literally the party city of, of like, of Colombia. All right, mm. let's get into Colombia. <laughs> because that that was a trip of legendary proportions, and I only know this because of Legend how many videos cover. that came out of it. Oh, you saw the so, videos? Yeah, you didn't see yeah. the ones that didn't make the cut. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> well, we're gonna have to talk about this. Is cool. you didn't, I didn't even know uh, yeah. that there was <laughs> videos. Where could they find them? Oh, uh, fourth wall, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yours. Uh, down, down bad dot show. Yes, uh, my fourth wall. Yeah. All right, oh, wait. Oh, so oh, okay, it's, so it's prior like novellas on that on, the, on oh, fourth wall right there for for sure. So that time you guys roll with a squad. So I'd like to know when you're doing a trip abroad, like who are the what are the roles that oh my god we had what are the roles that you want? We had an all star lineup for that Columbia trip. But like, who are you looking for? Like, obviously we got. Content create like video cam videographers. That's super important, right? right? The vibes guy. Yeah. Like need, what else? I feel like you need someone that is down to like make plays or like initiate. So like kind of like the leader of the group to like you know set the vibe, create plans, get and the bottles, like that. whatever. Yeah. Then you need like an assistant person to like facilitate, and then you need like scorers. It's okay. kind of like a basketball team. Okay. Like. And then you need like the you know the centers, the rebounders to to get the. Of course. So so what, who out of out of you guys, what roles were you? Uh, Jimmy was Kobe. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we had a uh, didn't our pass either. That, we had our, <laughs> <laughs> we, sometimes we have teammates that that would steal from their own team. Oh that, yeah, that oh, was, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no Nick, Nick was like Before like the J R Smith of the team, bro. Yeah. He was either making shots or he was just straight up stealing the ball from his own teammate. <laughs> Wait, who's Nick? In the cut. Uh, Nick, Nick in the, the cut. cut. Yeah. yeah. So, so we oh. so this is we went with what assemble seven, the team se- seven homies right paint the picture so it was it was digital bro like the passport bro 
Um, the passport bro. The is, passport bro. Is passport yeah. bro derogatory? And explain what a passport bro is to our to like our the audience. general people. Yeah, it is derogatory because like there's like a negative connotation towards. What it. is a passport bro? Passport bro. I mean, is what people that it's like basically people that uh, quote unquote like the way that people view them is that you can't get girls in here. So you like in the states. So you go to a foreign country where you have your dollar goes farther, mm. and that obviously because you're you're American, you're more attractive to the to the layman. But that's not just for the women, right? It's just, it's also for the lifestyle like yep. lifestyle is just a lot cheaper out there uh, yeah, so absolutely. i mean like that's what he preaches so it's like i, I guess passport bro for for a lot of people it, they get a bad rep yeah. but uh digital bro mad he's like he the nicest guy yeah, i've seen his videos nice guy. yeah he's a vibe. um and he's kind of he's been to columbia so he was our initial tour guy so you need somebody that kind of knows the the, the 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 playing field a little bit Definitely. so so we need so, uh, like an uh, inside man then we have all of us the gringos the Taurus, right? Um, and, and it's me, Eddie, Gabe, and yeah. Zeb, which is a, a, from another YouTube channel. And then Nick, Nick in the cut. He also has his own YouTube. But uh, I... I told Nick to, to come out just because we've been, like, we live in the same building, neighbors. Yeah. But uh, he plays this character where it's... He likes to eat off of my plate. <laughs> <laughs> Your plate specifically? Specifically mine. Well, he, he really, he eat off anybody's plate. Yeah, he tried like, to eat off mine too. But. They, okay, yeah. why, why did, how did he make the team? Huh? How did he make the team? Did what, you what, not have what, trials? Okay, okay, what, 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 genuinely, he's a, a, a homie oh. off screen. Like oh, a yeah. homie yeah, off yeah, screen. Yeah. Like, like, bro, like uh, for, for Gabe's LASIK eye surgery, like, like he, he was one of the first ones to pitch in. Oh, nice. For, like, so he was like off screen, like he's a, he's a bro. But yeah. then on camera, he just plays this character that's just like devious, mm. that, that has no morals, no ethics, yeah. just like slot on women, like left and right. I will say he does eat off people's plates in like the best way possible though. Like Explain usually that. it's like annoying or whatever, but for some reason I'd be like, yeah, sure, you can take some, and I take it back. You know, it's like, I don't, it's like a good. It's vibe. fun, it's like you know. It, it just creates a good dynamic because it, 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 it. I feel like the the audience sees it and it's like, oh, there he goes again, swipe yeah. or no swiping type of move. It's like so he's competition. Like a villain. He's like, like the villain of like, the group. <laughs> yeah, but you or, or it's like the annoying little brother. No, it's like yeah. the villain, yeah, but that. like you really like support his backstory. Like, damn. These people for this reason, but like I feel bad for him, you know. <laughs> That's a crazy description. Okay, so now, <laughs> like so staying from my hero, you know. Is this T? Like, is this a fight going on? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Nah, it's, it's 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 so funny. Like literally, like I'm watching it. I would roll my eyes half the time, but I was dying in in the inside. It was funny. Okay, so you guys go to Colombia with seven guys, right? And we got, you have a guide in the country who's like, let me show you the best spots, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, you guys want to hang out and meet. Women like what was like what was like step one? Well, well, I think what it is too. It's like we want to enjoy the country for for everything, not mm -hmm. just like we're a lot of guys go out to to, to these countries and, and they just oh let's just sightsee let's exp like we all single guys in our twenties like, like yeah. we all let, let, let's, let's be honest we we just trying to go out and have a good time mm -hmm. right and part of that is like we would love some 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 women to to, mm -hmm. to be part of the team all right uh, <laughs> yeah, we need oh, some, you know, some cheerleaders some cheerleaders yeah. uh, and so initially we have we have Austin Digital Bro Man he he's kind of on Tinder helping like you know set everything up so he's using dating apps because he's comfortable yeah he's comfortable with that he, what, he, hey, he what's knows. better out there Tinder or Hinge Tinder he Tinder. would say Tinder really? yeah. oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah none yeah. of them use Hinge they all use Tinder Tinder is also faster here too like when you want responses yeah. and like yeah. people to hook up with yeah uh, was he was how would you know that he I was catching that. he heard. was catching them all and then just throwing it to the team yeah. point wow. guard, point so, guard cuz he also has he has a girl so he mm -hmm. was literally doing it for the for the sake of the team tell me if this would be a good or bad profile picture it's me i'm holding my american passport that's crazy <laughs> Yeah, you go on. <laughs> you know, so you're just you gonna get targeted. Up. Yeah, you from the snow Jolina. But but so how is he? So what's he saying to these girls? Hey, my friends are in town. Like they're YouTubers. Like this is gonna be fun. Like are you creating events? Like, yes. So 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 he'll pitch that, and then he'll pitch like the Airbnb we're staying at. Like this experience. Oh, we're going to like this island. 
right? Yeah. And then everything will be paid for. So yeah, stuff like covered, that. just pop out. Yeah, time. and I mean, as respectful gentlemen, like I, we would like to pay for everything too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, if yeah, so it's just like we're we're just trying to go out and have a good time. That, that's really what it is. And then is it, it, sorry, is it more cheaper there, like affordable there? Oh yeah, yeah of course. So like, a quarter of the cost here. Yeah. You guys are buying like nice Airbnbs and like nice dinners and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Like 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 penthouses for like five hundred dollars a night, really? which, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. like like top of the line. So these girls are probably like, damn, these guys old, are like rich, rich. I'm sure they, they, I'm sure they know the vibe. <laughs> so what's what's the first? And also, does it help when they meet you and they see your YouTube channel, things like that? Like, I mean, yeah, but it, it's just it's, like it's, it's just more like off of the vibe. Like like yeah. we're not a lot of times like guys would do. And here's the thing: we we showcase it on on, on the. YouTube channel. I'm also saying just for comfortability. Right. Not a random guy. They're like, oh, this guy's right, like sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like safety. They feel a little bit more comfortable. So we'll, we'll, we'll pitch it in the DMs before they come out. Yeah. Um, and then, and then Eddie got the the Sprinter. I got the Airbnb. Oh, now wait. We gotta talk about how that started. We started that day. We started that day with nothing. So we a lot of times when we go out there, bro, we, we we have like such a short, limited amount of time to like make an experience happen. So. We basically had forty eight hours to, to, to go on this field trip to like like this far far deserted island, with, and we have seven guys. So ideally, we would like to even out the ratio, yeah. right? So uh, that's what like what, what, what do you do, right? Present it with, with 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 that. What do you do? So you everything. You go on the street. You go on Tinder. You how much time did you have to go on the street and Tinder? Like forty eight hours. Two days before you have to go to two, two days before, and then uh, two days before we booked the Airbnb and we pretty much locked in on the Sprinter. So like, yeah. all that money invested, and also we're in <laughs> Colombia, so all that time invested. So we're like, oh, f- we well, got we got the Sprinter the the day of the day of, yeah. And it wasn't like a just come to the club. It was like come with us on the Sprinter, drive a couple hours, party, spend the night, and then go back. Yeah. So Huge like commitment to meet me to go on the street with where you don't even speak the language. Yeah, yeah it was, I think it's like a two or three hour drive too. Yeah. It's a long drive. So how did you guys, how did it happen? Oh, I mean, like an hour before, we had like one girl <laughs> confirmed coming. You're lying. <laughs> no, dead yeah. ass. You're lying. In the, mor- the morning, <laughs> like, like we had almost nothing. Bro, like, we would have pulled up with all his, dudes. His, his shorty, like who was confirmed, wasn't answering. We had yeah. to leave in an hour. Yeah. Like, it was it was bad. So then, what, you just go to like 7-Eleven and like, and <laughs> oh my God. Stand out front? Like, I don't get it. Is that how it is in Korea? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what? So, um, Austin, like, just had, like, three or four come. I didn't, I wasn't really, like, on planning to have people come because I wasn't filming and, like, you know, they had their girls coming already. But I invited one girl and then she said her friend is down. So then she brought her friend and then uh, Karin came too. So yeah. that was, like, three there that popped up. But yeah. then, like, going into it, it was, like... I mean, it if you see weak. Jimmy's video, they kind of just slowly start trickling in, and then That's we finally crazy. Get yeah, and then at that point too, right? Like everybody's meeting each other, like different chemistry. Like how are you guys kind of picking who's talking to who? And well, just think about like if there was like a it was like a dating show, right? So yeah. so it's just like all right, we we just do random matchups. We just do random pair ups, singles inferno. Type yeah, so mm-hmm. it's like off of the first impressions, you know, who, who, whoever you like, just just go up and talk to them, just vibe, just have a good time. Mm-hmm. And then Eddie chose, I chose, uh, Gabe was. I invited Gabe. one, and then Nick was trying to eat off my plate for <laughs> half the trip. Right, <laughs> and then yeah, but then for you because you speak the language. Was that like was that much easier for you? Like was the trip yeah, more yeah, enjoyable? I had to let them choose. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I don't want to take. Each, Eddie was the first to choose. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, no, Eddie, I knew what I wanted. Eddie, yeah, Eddie, yeah. Eddie, 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 low key. Yeah, Eddie low fell key in what? Lo- no, Eddie no, fell no. in love. Low key. Yeah. You know, she, she, she was night. like almost not not even about to be there. Really? Yeah. I I I so I don't know. One night I got like some girl's number, and I forgot how I got it, but I thought it was a completely different girl. <sighs> So I invited that number I had because we were down bad on girls. And I was like, fine, I'll I'll just invite whoever I got. And then I invited her. She pulled up. And I was like, she, that's her. He's like, damn, I was was lit. I wasn't that lit. (laughs) I was like, ah, shit. And then she brought her friend. Her friend was more attractive. But then I was like, okay, uh, here's two freebies, guys. (laughs) And Eddie came. (laughs) 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 So the quickness. Wait, so the girl that you called was not like your type. Right. She wasn't the one that like 
He thought. Yeah, I think I think that girl shot her girl. shot with me. Oh, that girl shot her shot with me, and then I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, we'll hang out. And then like she gave me her number, and then we we're down bad. So I just looked through my pocket. I had like a piece of paper with a number on it, and I just said, pull up. <laughs> And then she's like, can I be my friend? I'm like, sure. I, I mean, I guess, fine. You know, it's not like we don't have any girls to begin with. <laughs> and, and you chose the friend? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And okay, so, uh, what's funny to me is like when the first girl pulled up and it was seven dudes, like, oh, what was, yeah, yeah. What was, what the, was the mood girl? like until. Um, what was, was the, the mood two, it was, like? It was the two first, I think. No, yeah, it was two, right? It was, it was the two. It was quiet. Yeah. And yeah. then and I then had we, to talk to them. It was it was awkward. Right, right, right. Yeah, this guy was the. What about what about Bromad? He he knows a little Spanish. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he does. He's not fluent. You're no, more no. fluent. Bro, it, was, was it was literally. It was bad. It was like me and then and then and then Austin Bromad and then all, like he speaks like the way you speak Korean basically. I thought he was fluent. Nah. Damn. No, but he's he's like he still gets the the words out. And then after that, it probably goes like. Gabe and then you know what I'm saying like so you can so see how you like can see how bleak it was okay. and like, I'm not I'm not yeah. even like super fluent like I was getting better every day ah oh. okay so onward to this house so yeah I mean it was just like one by one you know from random parts of the weekend the the girls we met just came on the bus and then. You know, it was it was just it was, it was it was like just imagine a nice bachelor party. Well, I mean, before that, <laughs> you I can just watch the video. Well, bro, that, yeah, just watch the video. Jimmy's there's just, yeah, there, there's a lot of other things that happen. Like this shit look looks bleak, felt- but I'm not gonna like ex- explain how the resolution happened. But we got there, giant giant bus going through this like little tiny oh my god like village village. Probably we're getting smuggled. You know what I'm saying? Like imagine like in the the neck of the woods, like literally just. The thick of it, and this bus is literally going in there, and then like we're also near a mountain, and he's trying to make a broken K turn because we literally got lost. Pitch black. A, a pitch black. Trees like you can't see like to you, your left, right. Pitch black because there was a blackout. Oh so we were God. at the B and B blackout, couldn't find nothing. You made it to the Airbnb. Though. We made it to the B and B. Literally blackout. Even there the was, driver was shook. Hey, there was one part in the video where I think it was Nick was freaking out. Because oh. he was lot, you got split from the group in the middle of the blackout. Yeah, were there ever any? Was that like a serious moment of danger? Or were there any serious moments well, well, of danger when on the Nick trip? Nick just overreacts when yeah. he is in an uncomfortable like new environment. Like it's really not that serious. It's yeah, not that yeah. deep. But he like he gets shook over the the smallest things. He was afraid to come to begin with to Colombia just because of like the news and there was like a recent article about yeah. this, this Asian guy yeah. that went. And he was just like, "Yo, bro, uh, we gonna get shot out there." Yeah, man. I, yo, I, we got security. Did, did, did you guys ever? Did you ever? Guys ever? Like, yeah, that's a good topic. So in Colombia, you always hear about the story. They meet right. a beautiful girl on a dating app. Right, they go right, out, right, right. have multiple dates, and then the girl will like, yeah, do some something shady. Okay. Did you guys ever worry about that? Yeah. So like in the beginning, like our guy Austin, and then another guy we met named Leo told us like to always stay in twos. Yeah, what are the rules no, to Chris, stay safe? I, I was the one I was the most afraid. I was like, we got to stay in twos. I, by the end of the trip, I was breaking my own rules. Yeah, halfway through the trip, I'm like, yo, where Eddie at? Yeah, I, was, I, you know I broke my rule by like day three because yeah. I just realized, I'm like, oh, it's it's literally, you could just, I think New York has prepped at least me to be comfortable in, in any situation. As long as you are looking in your surroundings, you're not being stupid, you're not walking down the middle of the street, 3 a.m., that's empty, that's how you find problems. So just go where people are, like there's people, it's populated, and then just make sure you're looking at your surroundings, that's it. Yeah. Don't leave your drink by yourself, like, you know, t- carry it with you. If you left your drink, buy a new one. It costs you one-fourth of what it costs you out here. What about the flower powder? I was just about to say that. Flower powder? It's that when you, like, blow, so there's, like, this thing, oh, this powder that, like, oh, odorless. Yeah, 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 the scopolamine. The scopolamine. And then, like, immediately, you would just kind of just be like a... Chat GPT, like whatever someone tells you, like you would You'll do it. You'll do it. Chat <laughs> GPT is crazy. I haven't heard about that shit in years. Nah, yeah. it's still yeah. like a TikTok a person was saying they'd be using that in South yeah. America. Yeah, so that's another thing. Again, man, like just don't shit, don't right? do something stupid. Like don't go somewhere with a girl because she's not gonna do it in a in like the populated area. Yeah, populated area. Because like people are gonna catch her and um, she's gonna get arrested. You know what no. I'm saying? So she's gonna take you to a remote place mm. where there's enough other people who are probably doing it to other tourists because they're stupid. And you know what I'm saying? You got yourself in that situation. I, I feel like a lot of times, like your, your gut feeling will, will, will kind of like, like your inner, 
like alarm clock will like, yeah, go yeah. off and like, yo, but this, this might potentially be a dangerous yeah. situation. Don't go into it. But a lot of times people might ignore that yeah. and yep. just, oh, she's so she's so cute. She likes yeah. me, you know. And we really just stayed at like a like a concentrated like tourist area, and yep. we never ventured outside of that. Yep. I thought you guys went to the favelas at one point. That was we in uh, Brazil. <laughs> 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 Literally breaking his own rules. No, that was in Brazil, and that was different because we went with like like someone. Let's stick to Colombia before we moved to yeah. Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so that was funny too because there were like zones areas that were like sanctioned off like tourist spots like there was like a whole neighborhood area and there was like bars and everything and then there were like zones where like there's a cop there and if you got an arrested before or if you're like malicious you can't enter that so we Basically. were like there yeah and, like, you can't all the get girls standing at the border were like trying to like talk to you and stuff trying to get you to leave that little border thing wow uh, yeah and the cops aren't warning you no, they are because like they don't let those like pretty much criminals enter that like tourist area. If wow. you have a rap history or if you're under the age of I think like uh, sixteen or something, you're not on in, in that section. Yeah, damn. And then even then, there's a there's like two very different populated areas. There's one where there's straight up they're just working girls who are looking to sleep with tourists, and then the other end it is straight up just a bar strip. That's crazy. Literally just super lively, hella food, hella things to do. So you can pick what you want to do. And then in between those streets, that's where I'd say I wouldn't be walking there at 2 a.m. That's it. Damn. So, okay. Overall, Columbia felt very safe. <laughs> yep. Let's squash those. I feel like it's always that one TikTok story that goes viral and then yep. all of a sudden it paints a and, bad and picture. And a lot of times, like, I would, I would have... People go out there with a friend from that country, yeah. or a fr we also had Leo. So we yeah. also had shout out Wu Talk for that one. Yeah, shout out Wu, um, who you know was also just like help helping us like navigate to different places. And it's like if you have that kind of guide with you, by you at all times, you should good. be fine. He was a great Dude, guy. You should yeah. be fine. He was like a Hispanic Wu Talk. He's oh, literally right. he's literally <laughs> Mexican Wu Talk, like, and he's from like LA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, speaking of Wu-Tang, did you see his text? No, what did he say? You just hit 100K. Are oh, you at 100K? Yeah, you just hit 100K. Hey. Hey. Congrats, thank Esther. Thank you guys so much for making me rich. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love you. 100K. Oh, that's crazy. Congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Hey, you now you're going to get a plaque. Yeah, yeah, you got a silver plaque. Are you going to hang it here? It's like, no. Ooh. Then we'll have 200K. 100K. Yay. Nice. Damn, I should make a video about that. Thank you. Thank you. That's a cool little surprise. Of <laughs> she I would should, eat I a burger should. off of it. <laughs> I most definitely will. Um, okay, so so anyways, now you guys, you guys got to give some people some insight on, uh, on the party, the Airbnb. You can't just say, just go watch the video. No, I, I can't curious. go watch the video. So, so everybody, no, but everybody, okay, fine. We'll give them a little preview. Uh -huh. But every seven guys and seven girls found perfect matches? No. There, oh. Oh. there we go. <laughs> I want to hear the drama part. Oh, man. Was there drama? Was there drama? Nah, there was like fake drama, like me and Nick going after the same girl. I, I looked at. Hey, she the was Instagram. trifling though. She was trifling after. Yeah, cause she what? she uh she pulled me to the side like after like they had asked uh um like Gabe and Nick like oh who are you feeling more and then she said Gabe and then she pulled me to the side and she was just like oh they they was asking me about this and I'm like okay and then she was just like but oh, I'm feeling you more I'm like. It's because she can actually speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you cute too. You cute too. Okay. Right, okay. You see, you see, you see. Okay. Why you gotta be hating like that? Hey, oh. something about like reggaeton and like Colombian women, it's just like a beautiful combination of, of things. The second word, they, 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 they want preach. reggaeton. The second reggaeton starts playing, they just just drop everything and just start oh, yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, it's like, like New like Yorkers and red. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever that means. Hands on my knees. No, yeah, 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 yeah. breathe. And they just start twerking. Okay, what I would like to know. So, okay, so any of those women? Did any? Did any of you guys stay in touch with those women after the trip? No, I mean for me, it was just for content and Colombia and stuff. Yeah. yeah, none of them. A little bit. What happened with you? We stopped talking. No, you fell in love. Like no, I didn't fall in love. Well, did you go back to Colombia? What? <laughs> Wait, what? You ain't shit. Man. What? <laughs> what was this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You ain't what? shit, man. Wait, when, when did he have what? time to go back? Hey, that's what his, his texts were turning green for me. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit, man. Why did you say that? Wait, does Wu even know about this? No. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> He's never told us. <laughs> Wait. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Wait, how'd you know? <laughs> Yeah, oh. no, I told him. I told him. You told him. Yeah. Hold up. Oh. You met a shorty out there that night yeah. for the for the 
Uh, Singles Inferno Columbia Edition. All right, let me, uh, listen. I, <laughs> let me be very clear. And you fell in love. I was once a thought. I'm not calling you a thought. I'm no, I'm, I'm, I'm calling myself a thought. A one Finally, we way, got it on camera. I was once a thought. Way back in his thought era. I met three or four women out there. And then I was talking to two. And then I was talking to one. And I was like, you're not a thought, bro. You, no. on, on the plane, you were writing a poem. I'm, I'm snitching. Not a poem. Right whoa, whoa. Snitch. I was writing my thoughts down. Because I, like, um, I, I was like, I don't know who to choose. Yeah. <laughs> Tr- truthfully, for Eddie, that was like a more like life changing thing. Because like, we've like traveled like often, but like for him, it was like, you, you haven't had that type of like travel. But you don't, you, don't, you don't understand how delicate his handwriting was on the plane, bro. Like <laughs> oh, this man was the, doing the cursive. The yeah. No, I was not. This I was man writing, was writing. I was literally writing my, my thoughts down. I was like, I don't know what to do. What do I do? And then I just started writing my thoughts. No, down. How do I feel about each woman? Like, oh, I like her because she's so delicate. Wait, 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 the conversation wait, 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 wait. is so we, beautiful. We haven't yeah. even given the audience <laughs> the he backstory. Like, he like prepaid for the, the internet audience to text even know the backstory. Yeah, yeah. So, so they don't need to know. No, they don't even know. Oh no, I don't. So you met a girl on this trip. What was her name? Give her a fake name. <laughs> we can't do fake that. Name? Give her a fake okay, name. Pretty much the same girl two from that video. Give one banana, one apple. So you meet Apple. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Apple was the one I met at the like like the treehouse. The, the yeah. treehouse. Treehouse. Tree Water Bay treehouse. Yeah. And then um. Yeah, retitle that so they get monetized. <laughs> Take your girls back to the treehouse. <laughs> so yeah, I met her there. She she was cool. We stood up to like four or five a.m. Also because of uh, extra activities, so I was up for a while. Yeah, so we were up to like basically the sunrise talking, and uh, we didn't do anything. Did she speak English too? Uh, very little. Okay, but like I, I, my Spanish by that point was pretty fluent, and we chatted it up, and then um, on the way back, like we just was flirty, and then I spent like I had like two dates with her. Like after oh that. wow, yeah, yeah, he stopped working. Yeah, there, there there was a day where we uh we, we just went out to just you know sightsee, get some good eats, and then just this Eddie the entire day boot up. Wow, just boot up. It was cute. It was Watching cute. Netflix, like it was just a casual Sunday. Like he lived, in yeah, like Columbia. he lived in Columbia. <laughs> Damn. And then the other girl, uh, Banana. Yeah. Met her. What was it the last? <laughs> that was the last like a penthouse event? that we had. Yeah, it was the last event. Yeah, like a penthouse. And also, was, you didn't bring days. Apple to the penthouse. Nope. That was after. Why did I was you working? bring apple and yeah. banana oh, to the oh, got it, got it. same yeah, yeah, yeah. place? And then um, while point. everyone was working, like I just saw this one girl. Like they were basically like, "Yo, she's not, she's not vibing with the video." Like just whatever. I, so I felt bad. So I just went over to her and I was started talking. Guess I gotta, you know. <laughs> I wasn't even trying, but then like as we were talking, I gotta I just, be the nice guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the condom, and then just like, I just realized she had like she had good music taste, and then we as we kept just tired and like oh she like she's cool, but I wasn't gonna I wasn't even trying to shoot my shot because I was so interested in Apple, but then she shot a shot with me and I was like oh, which one was better? I was just gonna Apple Ooh, or they, banana. They want Treehouse. Apple was probably better. Really? Yeah. How bad? I say it's not a lot of place to say. I mean, Apple, Apple, was bad, was like, Apple was like bottle girl vibes. <laughs> really? Yeah, Apple's and, like bottle girl. And yeah. what was the other one? Pear, banana. Banana. Like, like, come on, have some respect. <laughs> my fault. Uh, bananas like like girl next door type shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, girl next door. Ah, uh, she was cool. She was cool. And just awesome. show him the photos and let pop Vit, the picture let right Vit, here. Yeah, show Vit kidding. right now, but don't show the camera and just let him Vit describe it. Pull him out. I'm not doing that. Oh. oh no, but pretty much girl next door vibes. That's oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, Unplug yeah. your mic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so then on the plane ride home, but you spent more time with Apple, but you were still feeling banana that much that you was writing a dissertation? <laughs> he was feeling like a Basically, monkey. Basically, <laughs> banana tried to sleep with me and I said no. Oh, baddie. Yeah. And then, yeah. You said no <laughs> because you were your heart's... Your heart was with because I, I was just like I'm tired of sleeping with women just because I like them, and then I try to treat her differently. And that, that was yeah. probably a mistake. So and Eddie was an honest man. He told Banana about Apple. So wait, who did you end up choosing, and then who did you go back for? You, <laughs> you little <laughs> sneaky guy. Yeah. Did yeah. he have apple and banana? Yeah, he had no, a fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> he should have had a fruit salad. <laughs> okay, so who did you end up? So who did you end up choosing? And what you said you regretted being the nice guy. Yeah. Nice guys always finish last. Always finish the last. Show. Wait, but so so At least why? They finish. Come on, talk us through this. Oh man, I don't want to make this all about me, man. Um, oh, now man. all of a sudden he's shy. No, because he's just like like <laughs> this is this. Ah, uh, whatever. Please, camera zoom you in. Can just on tell, don't worry, I have a good question. I have a good follow up okay. question that'll okay, bring yeah, yeah, back yeah. the group. I just, yeah, I just yeah, wrap up the story, man. Jeremy's yeah. already bored of us. Crazy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, all right, so I'll just run through and you can ask whatever follow up questions. So basically, 
Um, I stopped talking to Apple because I was I just wasn't feeling it anymore. And then uh, Banana was pretty cool, so I kept talking to her. Like like uh, we talk on the phone sometimes. And funny enough, I think this is the reason I had to meet Banana. As you know, I'm a religious man, so I feel like there was a purpose and a lesson for every every time I met anybody. And straight up, she just picked my brain about what I wanted to do. And she eventually asked me the question, like, what is your dream? And I was like, oh, I want to pay my mom's bills. And she was like, what's stopping you? She was the one who she was the one who asked me that. Wow. And once I had no real answer, I was like, holy shit, what am I doing with my life? I should be taking care of my mom right now. So I think that's why I met her. Now, it didn't work out because she was most definitely immature. And she was basically childlike because when I would, uh, this is the first time after my ex, like, where, like, I'll be honest, I was a to my ex, I would curse her out. I would literally say mean things. I wouldn't listen to her. And see treat me the same way. And then, and then and then seeing the flip. I'm seeing the flip for the first time. Like she was being mean. She was being not like she's being childish. Wouldn't listen to me and like like hear me out. M- meanwhile, I'm not cursing. I'm not raising my voice. I'm calm as hell and I'm being sweet. And I was like, huh, this is karma. Oh, wow. And and it was it was necessary. Like I basically went to go see her and I got like humbled real quick. And I was like, okay. Oh, and you visited her again and she was mean to you in person. Uh, Well, there's two reasons I went. Well, she called you stupid. There's two reasons I went. Now you visited her once. And why I kept it a secret. Number one, I kept it a secret because I wanted to see if I can travel outside the U.S. while working and to see if it would affect my job. Nobody said anything, so I knew I was good. Number two. Oh, this guy. Number two. <laughs> yeah, the podcast still alive, isn't huh? Isn't that when we were arguing the most? Yeah. Yeah. No, is, is not. It, wait, hold on. Isn't that when my video wasn't getting done? <laughs> Hmm. Uh, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, every day, I was like, Eddie. <laughs> that is true. My video, you told me my video was gonna be done now. But <laughs> Eddie's like, <laughs> Eddie was, Eddie was like, I have no internet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, internet is terrible. Eddie's like, I'm just a pussy right now. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> but, but. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm at a hundred thousand K thanks to no, Eddie's yeah. just gaslighting Esther like I'll I, tell him about Jeremy hey, but God put Eddie in your life to teach you to edit yourself that's true well, okay <laughs> thank God she couldn't use a master, MacBook before master of the chess master <laughs> okay, of the so, chess so, so one you're like okay to prove to yourself if you could work outside the country yeah. was two and then two was uh, uh, basically she kind of like un, I guess un knowingly convinced me or made me realize that I was I was tripping like I had to go see my mom so uh yeah, like after that I went to New York, stayed in New York, uh figured that out and I was just kinda I'm not lying, I was pretty disappointed. I was like what am I, I gonna do? I was just disappointed because like I literally back to back to back disappointments. Anyone I ever liked, like they just kept disappointing me and I was like, I give up. Mm. I'm tired of this. Shit. So I literally said, you know what, maybe dating's not for me. And I just started like <laughs> focusing back on hotline and that was it. And I was just ready for the move and that was it. I was like, it was literally that was all I was gonna focus on. And then yeah. That's so funny, but <laughs> what, what are you laughing at, man? Sometimes you sound like a really nice guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? That I sound corny? Uh, hey, no, that, hey, that's a good story. A lot of lessons learned. Yeah. But, hey, and you can only le- learn them by going through that. So good for you. you and try, appreciate you, you for say? sharing. This sounds like what? he relates what? on a, on are a, you, are on you a trying spiritual to say? level. Yeah, no, pretty much. Okay. Everything you said was right. It's just the way you say it is like, like, it's the same way I talk in the videos I make. But I'm like, <laughs> yeah. nobody likes the nice guy. I have a question, guys. Do you guys think that long distance works? I think. And it, would you do it? I think it only works if you want it to work. Mm. But especially, especially in a foreign country. Hard. I'm again. It's just like if it. I don't think it works most of the time because you don't have you haven't you haven't built the infrastructure of the relationship to, for it to work Bro, imagine. i also think that it's just so many levels of disconnection when, that too when, that when, too when there's a long distance it's like there's no the lack of intimacy the time zones are, are different physical yeah. touch physical, quality time like, phys, yeah all that is not even in the picture until you guys see each other that's what i'm saying and it's just, the other thing, my question to that is, could you, let's say not do long distance, but could you date somebody that didn't speak the same language as you? Like, r- honestly. Like, no English at all? No English. I and no Mandarin? Do it, but... No Mandarin. Come on, man. Same language as you. If she, like, hella attractive and funny and, and, and quirky, like, I'll, I'll try it out. She's like, oh! 
<laughs> yeah, like there was this girl, and we we went to Australia. We did like a we did like a dating show, like a singles infernal, like but just with a Jimmy Zang twist to it. And there was this one character on the show. She was just hella Grace. energetic. Grace. Yeah, yeah. It's like what? Huh? <laughs> Oh, and she was cute. <laughs> yeah, and like, Gabe, imagine six months of that. Wah? Oh, you're like, hey, Grace, can you please take out the trash? Wah? Oh, maybe. no, the trash. I don't know. Just the trash. Because here's the thing. I like you, maybe. <laughs> no, she literally <laughs> said that. She literally said, not to me, but like just seeing her interact with the group was so funny. Because here's the thing, right? Even think about your your dating life in America. Right. And you meet somebody that for whatever reasons, you're like, okay, there's a couple boxes that they check. But even if somebody's like, six or seven years older it's different memes you send them a meme or you say some slang they don't understand imagine the foreign barrier where the memes are completely different like that's kind of where you like you really think that you could go through that it depends like I I don't know me personally I like I find it cute like any language thing you know like them trying them like messing up it's kind of like a clumsy girl but it's like you're not actually falling like you're just like you know you're just tripping over your words so Hell it depends man. on your mindset on that. Like some, <laughs> Gabe some is people, like, take your goddamn Duolingo classes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like for me, it's like a game too. It's like kind of like, you know, like a question game, like, like figuring out what the hell she's saying. <laughs> you you <laughs> much nicer. I don't like that. Uh, It'll be hard to get like deep. You that's know? what I'm like, saying. Like yeah, that. Yeah. But I, I've gotten deep with my, <laughs> my, my, my exquisite like foreign international yeah, communication that, skills. That's what I'm saying. Gay, gay will also just like type out an essay on Google Translate and just. If I really need to get to go. Yeah. My, patient my, man. My ear, patient man. But yeah. there's like Google Trends that you like you can literally like speak into it, say it, and then it'll say it back. So it's like you yeah. go, I can literally have a conversation like, "Hey Jeremy, how, how you doing?" Blah 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 blah, and then you say it. You know? <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying in a long in a relationship. Oh, it's like, long long distance in a relationship. No, no, not a long distance. Just like long you know, term. no no language. It's just a long yeah. It's a yeah. long time for them yeah. to learn the language, the new and maybe maybe if they're that great. I wonder if you can be that great without speaking. Mm. Yeah, it, no, it's even it's, through a it's phone tough. call. You know what I mean? Like you're not using any body languages or you know FaceTime. Just, yeah, FaceTime. But you know, if you're just to do calling and stuff. I will say though, like I think I could have a better connection with a girl just outside of America. So going yeah. back, to, I don't know. If we want to like go back to your original point. Yes, right yes, now. yes. Um, but I, I think you, you want to ask the original question again. The, the do, do you think you, could, oh, do you think uh, dating in America is doomed? It's yeah, like yeah, like I I genuinely think I have found better connections. Wait, let me ask the question okay, so you're right. not answering. Yeah, <laughs> He's right, like, right. <laughs> the clip is kind of Jimmy talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that dating in America is doomed? Doomed, doomed. Uh, maybe in L. A. L. A. Might be doomed. LA oh, I'm place. glad you guys found each other though. Very you know. Lucky. <laughs> He's not from LA, ah, and I'm, okay, not, I'm okay. also not from oh, LA. Cool. All right, I'm just, yeah, yeah. Um, just, but yeah, I think I've found better connections in like Toronto, in Australia, and in Taiwan. You don't say. The Aussie, really? hey, the Aussie be bad. Wait, the accents too. They so Wait, bad. better connections. So why? Okay, one they bad. Yes, right. And it's like oh, just oh my god, my explore page. Um. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I feel like yeah. that's a psyop by their governments running ad spend against oh, yeah. you know to get you over. That's the tourism. Uh, that's called so so it it Maybe it makes me want to explore. Got me genius strategy. By I believe them. it. I think that was the main reason why we went to Australia. Like the first Australia? peak of interest, and then, and then it, it, it was confirmed. I was like, oh, you guys oh, are just better. They over delivered. I have, <laughs> I have friends in Australia, and they're like dating there is so bad because everyone knows. Each, each other, other. and I mean, they're just like we can't like the girls there are so mean they that's need what some Americans. my australian so, friends say so mean mean yeah. they said they're mean and 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 i'm not like my australian friends girls and guys they're like okay, but well, not no. bad looking like but their standard of mean is not our standard of mean okay maybe oh, they, maybe they're meaner in la that's why how about yes. this how about this okay i have a flight to australia tomorrow i'll, I'll figure this out <laughs> you're going alone yeah, yeah. just oh to, you've never been this no, we went, okay i'm going again Oh, okay, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, okay, wait, stay on this. So, right. so is um, dating America do- doomed and you're saying that there's better places, three other places that you would rather be than America? Rather be. No. I, I'd rather see. I'd rather like just see, date around, see what type of women come into my life because in LA, I've, I've tried it and I would almost put like New York over LA because New York feels a lot more just genuine and it feels like... They have multi facets to their personality. Sometimes I feel like LA is just like one, like 
Or influencer, it, right? It's yeah. like, yeah, you want to go to f- uh, the food tasting? You want to go to a d- event? Mm-hmm. Every other week, I'm like, okay, what what else is there to your personality? Uh, let me tell you, I wanted to ask you something. So, what are you looking for in dating? That's not um, like in America. Like, are you looking to date to casually Lady date? Boy. Or you, I mean, dead. I mean, sure. So like casually date at first, right? Okay. And then but are you looking for like someone to to spend your life with? Like, is it, like, d- d- yeah, I mean, isn't that is that something up, you man? prefer rather than casually dating, or is it you rather casually date now that you're like you're still young, obviously? Isn't there always the goal? It's like yeah. you're casually dating, to, and then if the right person comes yeah, along, it's exactly. like you would be. I think, but, but here's the, here's the thing, right? Here's the other argument: is that sometimes it's it's just temporary happiness for people. Pe- some people just can't sustain a long-term relationship happily because that is so hard. How many people do you guys know can sustain 10, 20 years of happy relationship? I mean, I think it's just- Not uh, even our parents. Yeah, then then you probably argue, you can make the argument that uh, it's broken in America. Hmm. Right, and I, I don't know something about that duality of like me being American, them being Toronto. Also, that's another thing. Canadians are just so much nicer, you know? They. Apologize for for no reason. We got a Canadian like, in the house. We got we got Tristan in the yeah. building. He's Can you his head, no. that you apologize for no reason? Hey, Tristan's got to step up over here. No, come over here. Get stand next to Vic quickly and defend. Is your mic plugged in or no? No, no right? Okay. He said no. Damn. Well, there's a there's a mic out in the front. It's not plugged. And I like also like feel that a lot of girls in LA is very like self centered. It's just like oh they want to just talk about themselves. They, they everybody feels like they're they're their own celebrity in LA. I, but it, but like in Toronto in Sydney they actually curious. care. They they be curious to get to know you or to even understand if they're influencers you, or not. Huh? Yeah. Even if they're influencers. No, let, let Tristan, def- he says Canadians are mean, even though Jimmy says they're nice. And this is coming no. from a com- Canadian. Okay. Well, I wouldn't say they're mean, but I'd say, I think what a everyone, nice Canadian everyone in the say. U.S. has the idea that Canadians are nice. But I think it's a lot more similar to the U.S. than people want to admit in most places. Mm. So inner city, same way. You go out into the backwoods of Canada, same as like the backwoods of the U.S., but well, you haven't seen the worst that this country has has, has got. Oh, I've been, <laughs> I've been all over the U.S. Okay. I've been to the deep south. Uh, I hear the yeah. same thing that Tristan has said. Like mm-hmm. I asked Sahar, and Sahar is like, surprisingly, not everyone in in Canada is that nice like you guys think. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, oh, America America maybe too. what it is is that you're seeing the best of the best because you're you're also getting uh, like a tour of it. You know what I'm saying? Like right. you're going through like friends of friends who yeah, know referrals. how to filter right, right, for right, you, right, right. so true. you're getting the filtered experience. Yeah. Yeah, referrals are pretty big because you got to say the same thing about LA, like, oh, LA is fake, this, this, and that. But like, we don't really see that or keep that around us. That's what I'm saying. And like, yeah. if, if your friend comes to town and he thinks LA is fake, and then let's say your buddy comes and then you bring him to meet us, like, he's like, like, damn, oh. it's really fake. But like, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what did you think of society that that's kind of like, to take LA for example, right? A city that's based off of just clout driven transactions transactional just you know like attracts that, a certain seed it's, that, that yeah, kind it's of culture point. attract a certain type of people it attracts way more narcissists mm-hmm. than, than a city that's just a lot more you know I have one more question for him though well, so so you said something that was very interesting you said it's a different like our mean is not like their mean is not our mean would you say that that's the same like in maybe there are maybe it's not this you know beautiful fantasy that Jimmy has but they, there's no way that people are meaner than people in in New York or LA. No, I I'd agree with that. Yeah, they're not as mean as New York or LA in Canada, but they could still be pretty mean. But it really varies on where you go because I know you're saying that places like LA attract those kinds of people in the U.S. But if you live in Canada and you can't get a visa, where do you go? Everyone goes to Toronto. So all those same kinds of people are attracted to big cities like Toronto. In Canada, so you'll find the same kind of people there, ah, and it'll really okay. depend what kind of crowd you run with, because and what part you go to. Because if you go, if you go to Toronto, the people you might meet there and spend time with would be way different than a different group of people. So if you wanted to go to Toronto and you wanted to be surrounded by people who want to be like UK grime rappers, <laughs> or you want to be surrounded by sure. people like the Milk Boys, you could see them and see nobody else, mm. and that would be the whole reality. But if you want to be surrounded by other people, you could find that too. 
Okay. So makes sense. Mm-hmm. That was a very thoughtful answer. Ooh. That's good. He's so nice. I don't know, but I, I, I feel like if <laughs> you just take a, a a random picking of a of a Toronto man and a random pick like Eddie for example, Eddie compared to Tristan, like Eddie will be like, man, suck my dick. Yeah. You know, to, to every, and, and look at the vibe of, yeah. of Tristan. Yeah. Yeah. You see the vibe of Tristan. Yeah. He's so really nice. His tonality is nice. Oh my god. Tristan is the is, nicest. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, Eddie is nice. He's just a little sassy. Like it doesn't. He's not mean or anything like that. You gotta find the real Toronto man. So. Oh. Yeah, I have well, a question for Jim. I'm the nicest New York you'll ever meet. Is it? Isn't Toronto like <laughs> mad? Uh, like pimp culture? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That plus, oh, I guess you can't really hear me. Yeah, right. Tristan's saying, said yeah, yes. that yes. Yes, but also there's a huge. But also there's gang, a huge gang. Gang and drug culture there. there also, there's culture. a huge gang and drug culture. Toronto, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. everywhere. Curse you, Drake. <laughs> I mean, everywhere is like Japan's like the yakuza and everything. Waste like, man. You know, True. Got yeah. the mafia. Um, <laughs> I have I have a question for yes. Jimmy. Would you want to date an influencer, or would you prefer not to? Because mm. you you're an influencer, right. so like you're doing all of all of these things, like you know, street interviews and like yeah. dating shows and all that stuff. Like, what if your girl is not an understanding of that because she's not an influencer? Like, she just she just doesn't get it. She's right, like, why right, do you right. have to do? You know what I mean? Yeah, I I think I think the 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 right middle ground is somebody that might be involved in the space but aren't like, you know, because. Like, also, a lot of influencers like like myself. I'm, I'm no better. I feel like I try to be as self aware as possible to be like, okay, am I being too full of myself? Am I being too much of a narcissist? Like, if I'm on a date, am I asking this person questions? Right? Like, am I really trying to get to like? I try to. And also, I like I went to college, so I feel like I'm not as bad as some influencers that like maybe blew up when they were like 18 mm. right and they haven't had like a taste of society and how to interact with normal people name an influencer what <laughs> call him out <laughs> we'll talk him no. <laughs> no i'm just kidding but i mean even 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 we'll talk, i mean he, he he like so full of like his work these days i feel like i can't like even before this i was just trying to hang out with bro like oh man i got work i like I can't remember the last time I hung out with him just as like bros. Damn. And it's like I, that's the thing. It's just that that is the the the, the cycle, the treadmill where we're all kind of running on in LA, right? Yeah. And it's just like we need to really spend time to just be normal people. Mm. And I actually I, I agree. This guy wants mm-hmm. to be poor with, forever. Uh, like Nick and all them. Yeah. Uh, there there was there was a time where I hung out with them. Every day, that was when I went to the gym with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop doing that. I, I think I didn't see them for like four or five months. Yeah, and uh, it's like work is also like everybody's chasing their own. Shit. It doesn't even cross your mind to just be like, yo, like, what's right. up? Like, I think we texted. I didn't see them for like four or five months, but we texted maybe once a month to just check in with each right, other. Right, and right. even then, it was like, but, but it's that. like it's like you don't even need to like hang out like like all the time. Just like do mm. like a lunch, mm. do Absolutely. a dinner like once once a month. Like if these so are distance too. Though. Yeah, this is yeah, kind of sad. To I, I don't know. Yeah. I think um, uh, quite honestly, I disagree. I think you you need to be locked in, and if, especially if what you're doing is like if you I'm can't not get lunch once a month, uh, but like, once a month is with bro, your friend. You, you don't get lunch once a month. You're locked in, like as you should be. This is your, this is your way out. This is for you to no, survive. No, no, but this is for but, your but for your close anybody at this table, I get. I, I think out a way the, to the get way it. that me and my friends work, and uh, and Gabe can speak on this. I literally before this, before I started working with Brian, I had not seen Brian in over, like almost six, eight months. Mm. When we see each other, it's all good. It's not. I'm not gonna check up on you. This is not like a frilly little relationship that we have to hang out every day with. Like I'm saying, like this is something that I can I can just see you. How are you doing? How's everything? You know what I'm saying? Understand that I'm doing this for me and that you accept that as my boy. That's the way I see it. Sure. Now, now I do think that you should definitely check in, text here and there, but understand that someone's gotta be locked in. Someone's gotta be locked in. Uh, sure, yeah. you you could be locked in while also spend just a, a, a an yeah. afternoon of quality time with your boy to maintain that relationship like as human beings bro as friends like you could you don't need to always be like you, yeah yeah, it's yeah. Not yeah. Some you could so, be successful and also be yes yes yes, yes. you can have both I, absolutely i just think that some people have a hard time doing that for them things yes. are black and white and other people it's a spectrum and then to, to just say that to put your like the way you see things onto mm-hmm. them it's it's all you gotta do is just gonna push them away so let let them eventually come to realize that because there will become a time if they're a good person they will realize their mistakes and then they will correct it but you just gotta give them the space to do it that's the way I see it. Yeah, we'll give him space while we travel. <laughs> <laughs> We've been giving miles. No, I'm kidding. It sounds kind of sad. 
I feel like whenever I see my influencer friends, we're just like seeing each other to do like content. Yeah, right. something Instead tied of, to it. Yeah, it's like something tied to it. And I'm just like, damn, like we should just not do content and we just we should just like really just yeah. get to know each other deeper. Well, like, that's why like, I like why? the way sometimes like, Utak <laughs> yeah. would do things like over the summer when, when we would shoot something, right? Like we just spend the rest of the day hanging out. It wouldn't be like the Summer Talks kids come over and then they shoot the thing and then they're out. They come and they stay. We shoot, we, we shoot the shit. We drink. You know what I'm saying? We did the shoot. We did the work. Mm-hmm. And now we're hanging out for another three, four hours. Like, that's what it, I think that's the coolest way. Because yeah. then you still get your work done yeah. while also being cool that's with true. your boys. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's a good balance there. I think that was kind of like the beauty that I saw when we went out to Australia. It's like, yeah, we got work done. But then it was like off camera. We also like just made an effort to spend quality time with yeah. one another. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was, I don't know. It was beautiful. It was great. Where was uh, um, like Coachella? You know, it was such a. Oh, that was a vibe. Y- y- you know what I'm saying? That was a vibe. It's like if, if we had more stuff like that, there was just no filming involved. It was just like bonding. Those are the things that's gonna like keep people together for a long time. Like if this is. I mean, just, the Hawaii trip was fun as fuck too. Yeah. It was a lot of. I yeah. felt like you were like overly stressed, yeah. bro. Well, that's because yeah. I had so much. I actually had to do business. Shit. Like right, when, right, right, right. Yeah. When you guys, that you guys a, had like one activity a day, and I had to be involved in every, the business side, and right, that's, right, that's right, a different. Right, right. Tahoe but I'm was saying, like better. yeah, Tahoe was yeah, yeah, yeah. better. Yeah, well, especially when Jimmy got stuck. In situations like that, it's like it's like what I said. You like extend it so that you can have the time to be able to spend quality time with your friends. So like that was like a five day trip. I thought I think you were there for like a week ahead. Mm-hmm. Maybe you extend it for one more day so you could have just been like just spend the day relaxing versus worried about everything else. True. Now but I don't know what your back end schedule was like. Maybe you had to literally fly back. But you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if you can plan ahead, then next time like that would have been cool. And then we all got to hang out because I uh, when everyone flew back, it was still me, Vit. Uh, uh, Jordan and Emily that and was the we'll, best we'll day. talk. That was the best day because we 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 did all the jobs and then yeah. literally all our last day was just vibing, drinking, eating, having a great dinner, and then just went to the beach and just chilled. I always hear about your next days, and I'm just that's like, what Damn. I'm saying. That's, that's, what I'm saying. We, that's why we always extend one day. Exactly, the, the extending trip. one day is super necessary. It's no work, it's no recording. Like we're literally there to explore the city and like build the bonds that we yeah. have. Yeah, yeah. You that's can like have you guys both. in Houston too. Exactly, yeah. and I actually think. This is the solution to burnout. I was gonna I, say that. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, I feel I like agree. a lot of times we we like we spend every waking hour thinking about our business, thinking about our content. That like that's why we like it leads to, to to so fast of a burnout, right? But if we actually take some time and realize that success is still there for us, if we could just make a couple you know, hours out of the month for our friends to just hang out with one Absolutely. another. It's, it's such a peaceful feeling. Bro, I remember uh, like with my streaming, I was yeah. stressed. I was thinking about that for like two months and I was stressing about it. New York was really what like put it in place where it's like, I'm here, I'm having fun with my friends, building these bonds that like I, lo- these, like, I consider these guys family now. Mm-hmm. Once I'm done having this fun, let me go home and really like mm-hmm. lock in and mm-hmm. grind mm-hmm. and then let me do that for a few months knowing that once I get to the point where I'm comfortable doing it there's another time where we'll take another trip and do the same thing and it's a celebratory trip yeah. I'm celebrating now yeah. instead of just stressing 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 what do I do next what do I do next how do I make this work yeah. so no I, I completely agree yeah. well that, that's what I was trying to get at like you know those four or five months you didn't see uh like the suburb talks, that's that's part of their their season of locking in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just well, unfortunate. No, of course, yeah. Unfortunately, like sometimes everyone's schedule doesn't align. Like my locking in could be literally by the time that you're starting. Like I'm ending and then you're starting, and like you know what I'm True. saying. That's the unfortunate part. And, and I feel like they might even work themselves to a to a bad cycle of like constantly being locked in, thinking about work. You know. But then again, they're also their own separate. Friend group yeah, they yeah. They take the Friday nights off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, I mean, they, I've I've also so. like from like on the back end, like I've seen that they. They also extend whatever they're doing so they'll, right, they'll, right. they'll shoot a podcast and be like you guys want to go drink afterwards like right, right, right. so they're they are getting their their fix it's just mm-hmm. like it's not an hour away you know exactly, yeah. Yeah. with them i think it's that as like distance is the biggest yeah, it's problem big so distance, it's not, yeah. um <clears throat> you kind of already gave your position on this but i'd like i'd be curious for you two has dating outside of america made you more critical or more appreciative of american women uh, I definitely more critical. critical. I would say. <laughs> critical. You think I come back like, oh yes, wow, uh, I miss my honey's back home. Uh, but, but but like similar, to, but similar to how he said, like you're gonna find mean people everywhere. Like you just got like a good slice because you're on a trip, yeah. right? 
We keep finding it. Bro, that, that, no, it's not even that, Jeremy. Like, it's like, we, we get, get, I wish what I got a, I, we spent more time out there to yeah. really explore. We got a teaser of what, 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 what's yeah. going on. Yeah. What is, bro. okay, so, so what is different? Yeah. Talk, 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 Wait, talk, I, talk. I, I just have a question. Okay, but like in, let's just say you're in, you know, in Colombia, you're hanging out with the girl for like, what, like a week maybe, right? I didn't say Colombia, that, that's Eddie. No, 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 uh, but I'm just, I'm just, just in general. Let's like, let's just say, okay, in Australia, you <laughs> hang out with them, the same girl for a week, right? right. Every girl is going to show you, if they like you, they're going to show you the good side of themselves, right? Even in LA as well, right. wherever sure, you go. Sure, so sure. I'm just like, how you would have to spend way more time with that person in order to like truly know that this person's right. Well, so only having like a little snippet. 100%. Well, I don't yeah. think it's black and white. I don't think it's like, oh, you know, they put their best foot forward. So this is, I just, I also just get a vibe of who they are as mm. people. And in comparison to th- th- the sample size mm. I've like dated in LA, it's just, it seems to me that LA girls I've dated are just a lot more self- <laughs> self-absorbed and just a lot more talkative about themselves rather than like you know trying to figure out who, mm-hmm. who I am as a I person agree. I think um, some are but I feel like one like some of them like when you truly get to know them you're just like oh yeah they're a little different you know what I mean so I was just like but th- that's the thing you're, you're talking about like going past that that threshold who yeah. wants to keep investing coins if the coin machine just keeps spinning the thing out you're not gonna want to do all that so if you're what you're seeing in the first few days is booty like why would I keep investing my time in True. this true so like that's what I'm saying like in in, in any sp- time that he's spending outside the US if he's seeing that oh I invest this time in this shorty he's pretty cool he's gonna keep doing it and he's gonna be like damn I just got a taste of what's great what about what's going on here in America but he's, and also Jimmy is probably the best person to say that because he's been to so many different countries and the there's a vibe always yeah. you know what I'm saying so <clears throat> yeah and I say like just like the time spent you can even use that here it's like if I go on a date next week with a girl I met like always you know it's gonna be that same kind of disappointment and then if I go over there damn, damn. <laughs> not disappointment but it's like I mean I'd say I have pretty high standards and like I know what I want so like obviously what do you want well, like what do you say like the girls that you, you kind of spoken to in LA just feels very like one dimensional yeah, it's like it's just not as complex and it's oh, not as deep. It's not like 3D, 4D. Maybe they're like, so spoiled. No, huh? no, because I, 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 maybe I don't know that maybe they grow up around the same like community and culture. 100%. And it's huh. like it's just the same kind of conversations that keeps happening. It's just you know, the, the same parties that keep happening every other weekend, the same raves that they go yep. to every other weekend. Yep. It's just the same. Sh- Whereas, like, I don't know, people in other countries, they just. They have more things. There's just more to life than like what they're doing. Like, 100%. Yeah. Like LA is very, like you said, we're even like, you know, separating our friends just because we want to work so hard, right? That's right. not, like more cultures like that, it's not weird to live with your parents and your family for a really long time. And most yeah. times you don't move too far away from them. There's more familiar. Also, somebody was telling me this the other day, even the setup of the cities, mm-hmm. he's like open parks, like you don't have that in America. It's like they create things in the community where you're like surrounded by your, you're hanging out with oh. the people around you. And that in itself makes you more inquisitive and cool with strangers and your kids play together and they, you know, know you, yeah. know everybody in the neighborhood. And that in itself just creates a different vibe of openness that is America. What really happened was in, in this book, uh, uh, I think it was called sapiens have you guys read that one no basically the thing that changed in america that that really affected the way that we uh, integrate with, with each other was we went from back in the in the day we were nomads and you would have to depend on your community members like the men would have to go hunt the women would watch the children and then you would have to travel around all over the united the, whatever pangea to survive <laughs> then came farming and that changed everything because it was like wait a second I don't need you anymore. I'm going to work on this plot of land, my wife, and I'm going to have a bunch of kids, and then we're going to work this farm. I don't need you for food source anymore. Men don't have to go hunt for the group. It's just like, I'm just going to grow on this farm itself. And then over time, we became a very individualized country. And that that over decades, centuries, creates this kind of individualism where a lot of countries to this day are still very much like communal based. So that's mm. also something that probably has effect to it. My man's so smart. Yeah. I, 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 I read also, one book before. <laughs> I also think that in like uh, countries like in South America in general, like because they're more uh, in poverty, like they have to build a 
I guess you got to depend on each other. Yeah, you got to depend on each other. You you learn how to take care of yourself. You become more independent earlier on, and so I think you have more like respect for other people. Whereas like people are more likely to be spoiled here, or what they think is not spoiled is like completely spoiled in another mm. country. No. That's sad. That's hundred no. percent sad. Yeah. yeah. Any 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 big like life perspective overall, like you know, from all your travels, where you're like, I mean, for you, it kind of seems like, hey, like time. With your close ones is very important. I had so many. But that's uh, always been Jimmy, though, I feel like. What was the question again? I feel like traveling doesn't even change that. Oh, in terms of, like, spending quality time yeah. with people? Because even think back, like, two years ago, Jimmy is the connector between a lot of True. groups in LA. Factual. So it's, it's always been, like, you value time spent, like, quality time with, your, with good people more mm-hmm. than most people do, I think. Yeah. My son was the pioneer. Did that come from traveling or not? No, that, that that just I feel like it's 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 not really just all about it's it's a, the thing that f- fulfills me is the people around you, and I think that is the ultimate purpose to life. It's not money. It's not like sure. I think having a baseline of security, financial security, and freedom is is really good and necessary. But then beyond that is like it's the connections you have with with other people, and. I really value that. Mm. And I that's why, you know, we, we threw the parties that we threw and yeah. that's why we always pop out to your you, you know, whenever you guys throw something. I, I like I love shit like that, you know? And it's just it, it's what's gonna keep all of us going in this crazy, crazy world of social mm-hmm. media. Yeah, it's pretty similar to what we were talking about before, and then like we like coined that term. Cause like there's like passive income, but then like what's like your passive happiness? And I feel like people your friends and everything that you kind of like keep up and the, the people that you kind of keep up with and like chat with, inv- invite to events, work with trade skills. Like that's like people that are, you're putting out happiness into multiple people and it's it got to come back. And even mm. if like you're down or, you know, things get hard, like you still have this good energy coming into you versus like the people that just kind of like lock in and like don't talk to anybody and do their own thing. Mm. Yeah. Very cute. Do you have any lessons you learned cute. before I get to some degenerate questions? <laughs> um, lessons I learned. Uh, I mean, going going through uh, the in Brazil when we went through the favelas, mm. that was eye opening for sure. Like, I was like, damn, I'm lucky as hell. But is it, is that like a it's, straight it's poverty? Like, it's like poverty. straight up. You ever look at City of God? It's like literally like that. Mm-hmm. It's pretty like literally poop on the floor whenever oh, yeah. you're walking through like the the alleyways like and there's just hundreds of thousands of people living literally in, in like the things. the way they take care of their trash is like they throw it all in like in a little like the the town square I don't even know so that, not the middle of the town just literally piles of trash it's like, like they burn just, trash you, no they they have like a truck that's supposed to come every like every other day but it comes once a week for them or what sorry I would meant when I went to Tijuana Mexico. Oh. They just straight up burn trash. Oh, that's and also, insane. no running water was a, a wild situation. That's an, yeah, that's yeah. another thing. The way they get the way they get their water is they get it delivered from the city, and that's how they are able to take showers. Basically, like mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying. It's like you think like, think of that, and it's just uh, like the, the uh, gratitude you feel. Yeah, in this yeah, country. it makes you it makes you think a little bit. Um, all right, what is the best? So in America, like if you go on a date in LA, you know the spots, mm. right? So when you go into a foreign country. How do you figure out what's the best first date? And especially if a man is supposed to lead, right? And how do you make sure you don't end up taking her to the cheesecake of her cheesecake factory of her country? Fucking t- you, <laughs> TikTok, you get creative. That's true. The, for, the 40, 69 different things to do in the city. Yep. And then just, just scroll through all of it and yep. then start right at 69, number 60. But what if it's what if it's so like basic? You know how some people it, out of like a hundred but there's like hundreds of these it's like it's like, like let's, you'll, you'll, okay <laughs> but like imagine it's like uh you're taking a girl out to a date and you're like let's go to lacma she's like lacma like i i've been there so many times like what if what if you're looking up the 69 <laughs> there, places there you go. that's exactly like a, like, that, that's the solution communication you'd be mm-hmm. like have you been here mm-hmm. oh i hate it there okay how about mm-hmm. this spot like mm-hmm. if you're if you're a man then that's what you gotta do <laughs> or you take his approach you you go through for a friend and then mm. you find out the right spots because now you got it from a local. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have that disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. 
There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. How yeah. many times is Gabe just there like, with the camera when you're up. <laughs> oh, most of the time. And he's like, Jimmy, kiss her. Is he going to commentary? I say like, probably like 70% of it. Because of, cause like a lot of times. How many like first dates have you enjoyed of his? <laughs> oh, all of them. <laughs> yeah, what do you think is my best one, bro? Yeah, yeah. Which Your one best you, first date? He's tearing up. <laughs> like off vibe, like chemistry? Yeah. i say uh, <laughs> Korea girl. <laughs> I got number one. Casey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll say Casey. Are you yeah. allowed to say her name? Yeah, yeah it's all tracked on Wait, the internet. Wait, the Casey, we know. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know about. I know about this too. So. Yeah. yeah. But for the date videos, like I don't just like I'm more strategic with it. Like sometimes if there's like moments where I don't need to be there, or I will like you know hand Jimmy the camera and have him have his own thing. So it's not just me always like. <laughs> yeah, he not he not by my side breathing, at all Breathing time. a little loud. <sighs> <laughs> Bro, I was dying when I was watching the bureau. <laughs> Your Kid. audio's not cutting in. Do you Kid. think he's a good kisser? <laughs> <laughs> You're on the camera. Kiss. 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 Oh, all right, all right, come on. Uh, start making out. Come on, please. Right. Wait, so if it's you, you three at Lotte World, right? So it's you. No, 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 no that's no, where no, I hand no, it off no, the camera. Hey, hey, on the rides, Gabe's in the back always. Like, <laughs> like if the chemistry is crazy, he, 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 he did. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wait, but then well, who but was the he best with? one, the best one was when we, uh, he had a rental girlfriend in Japan, and then I started risen. As <laughs> oh yeah. Well, oh, she, came, she, came at me. she came at me. She came at me first. Nah, that was because no, I story. paid for the rental girlfriend, <laughs> yeah. right? No, tell the story from the beginning. I mean, it's, I mean, TLD. I, 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 I was in Japan, and there was a rental girlfriend service yeah. that I paid like. Seven hundred dollars. Uh, he, he was chatting her for like a whole week too. Yeah. Well, I, also, you know, how, it was part how of the long? Video. How long was this rent to go for? The whole, the whole day. It was like seven hours. Seven hundred for seven hours. Okay. And then, and then also, she's like, "Oh, you guys are filming a YouTube. Oh, you guys are making money off of it. So here's yeah. more money." Anyways, I mean, uh, you, gotta, you gotta respect the grind, you know. Right. So, uh, you know, this We're is, not my, this is my day that I pay for. Yeah. And then midday, he's like, "My girlfriend. <laughs> my girlfriend. <laughs> Technically, she is mine until eight p.m." <laughs> and then, but no, no, no. no. Okay, he's, you, you you explaining it with a lot of hostility and anger, and, and then you because you in the beginning let him tell the story. No rebuttal. All right, fine. And, and then you know you you over here like, oh yeah, you do have a good smile. <laughs> like, yeah, she said it to me first, and then and then, and then she, she, he, he would hold his hand out and do a little spin for her, right? He's, oh no, this is for so the camera. Oh no, this is out. for the this is for the B roll. So and I, I'm over here just getting cucked. <laughs> so many details for seven hundred. You're talking about nothing. Nick eating off your plate. You. Took his no, whole meal. Yeah, I paid him to be there. I paid for the girl, and he over here enjoying free service. Well, it's not my fault. One of your meatballs rolled off the plate and landed in mine. Okay, because first of all, I, I was a good turn. Yeah, first of all, I was just filming, right? I was like getting cute angles. I'm excited to be in Japan, and I'm filming them. And then she's like, I think she said you asked about your smile. I was like, what do you think about Jimmy's smile? She said my smile cute, and I was like, oh. <laughs> so I was even a, 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 a multiple choice option. Oh yeah, she goes cute smile. To, 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 to smile get, cute, and, and, then, I, and then Jimmy's like, <laughs> I was like, no, no, there has to be a refund system then, on this. Yeah, <laughs> and, then, and then he started getting jealous, and I was like, Yo, Jimmy, watch your girl before, you know. <laughs> yeah, and no. I was like, Damn, she doing this for free? Yeah, you pay it. Wait, how does this process work with renting a girlfriend? Like, do you choose? Is there like a yeah, whole bunch of girls a catalog. to choose for? And, and are, like, are some of them more expensive than others? <laughs> yes. yes. Dang. And Absolutely. you get stats. You get like age, but it's very occupation, wholesome. very ho like yeah. like like just. It's literally just to ha pay, just to have a girlfriend experience. And the cock experience does not sound wholesome to me. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get upcharged. And I can imagine Jimmy one star on Yelp flaming this girl. <laughs> oh, man. You saw the video? That shit was, that was probably yeah. one of my favorite no, videos no, in no, Japan. She, she, she did give a great girlfriend experience. To both right? of us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You got the buy one, get one free deal. Yeah, I, I know that either. <laughs> <laughs> you must have some uh, reward points. Uh, that's Hilarious. No, but she was choosing, and, and, and she was like, she obviously she liked the attention when I was flirting back too. Oh no shit! Yeah, 
<laughs> you guys didn't link up afterwards, like after. Ow. You didn't go back for her. Oh yeah, I clocked out. <laughs> oh, he clocked. Yeah, that's where Jimmy clocked in. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy then clocked out. Yeah. Um, out of all your videos of travel and just meeting women and whatnot, what was like a how many? For yeah, the content, yeah. for the of content, course, of course. How many? Escapades. How many have actually been like you know? You're like, man, I could have seen myself in a relationship with them, or oh, like, shit. how many do you think about? It? And you're like, if I was in the right time and place in my life, I would go back and no. you know date this woman longer. Mm. But there's multiple times and places in life. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I think I think um, twelve percent. Maybe maybe yeah maybe like I could count on maybe like. Maybe Casey. I thought about it at the time. Like I was, um, it, it ended up to be like like a real thing off camera. Like it was yeah. a, like a summer fling type of type, type of deal. Did she live in Korea? Though? Yeah, yeah, she yeah. lived in oh, Korea, okay. but but she stayed with me for like, like what, like three weeks. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a whole year in LA. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Which is basically a year of dating. You just condensed what? it into because you lived together all of a sudden. I mean, low key. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know too much about th th that situation. So, uh -huh. in those three weeks, like, did you fight at all? Fight? Yeah. Yeah. Like, argue? Yeah. A lot? No. I just, it was, it was like one. Come on, you're three weeks with someone that you, like, are just, of course, there's going to be some, like, that's But, but, but most of the time, it was, it, I mean, most of the time, it was, oh my God. Oh. It's, it's like, I don't, I don't want to, like, put, 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 put shit out there yeah. for that. But it was like, um, but you know, for the most part, for eighty percent of the time, it was like really like it was like magical. It was like, mm. oh my god, I God, the emotions are so high. The I first am. And like Gabe stopped. Like I stopped shooting videos for like two weeks. Like oh, Gabe, I, yeah, he stopped. Oh working. no, I was, you I was carrying the team for both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Gabe I, is sitting by the door with his camera, Jimmy. <laughs> my camera is getting no, cold. No, I was off. I was off. If I was doing more work that week, it was the first time I was like, I remember I'll just be doing work and I hear him laughing at 4 a.m. I'm like, they still talking? Wow. <laughs> I'm like, I've never heard him it say this It sounds like a drama. That, that, I, I was I like, was, I would have been jealous of you. <laughs> yeah. I would have been jealous of you. Oh, man. It was, it was a K drama level love? No, oh, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Okay, so that's one. Uh huh. There's, a, there's been some others. Mm. Let me, let me go through my videos. Um, <laughs> How about... Uh, also, this oh, is... And also, these are good because people will go and look for the videos, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. The oh, 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 Hong Kong Tiff. Yeah. Um, okay, Hong Kong... Well, no, not, not this <laughs> thing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that, I mean... Our <laughs> no, no, that, yeah, she yeah, reacted yeah, no, like no, no, she thought no, it was no, this no. Tiff. Okay. Um, but yeah, there, no, there was a, there was another girl I met in, in Hong Kong that I met off camera, and it was, there was just like a, a night out where a bunch of like mutual friends, um, and she was just uh, she was just like just the most like a wholesome girl, and I really clicked with her. Um, that was somebody that I thought about like, oh, if I was in that city, I would definitely. Taiwan person. No, no, this was a Hong Kong. Last oh, Hong year. Kong, Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. She listened to uh, jazz music. Oh my she God, she put proper. Bro, she put me onto jazz music. She something about her essence was just so calming and peaceful. Damn. And I'm like, Heart if I had a opposite of who I am, that like just looked, allowed me to relax, it, like it'd be her. Wow. Damn. And, yeah. And have the jazz. You have you guys ever listened to jazz music? Yeah, I used yeah. to play play the drums. Brother, you light up a candle. Put oh, on some jazz. No, it's nice. So nice. You used to play the drums? Yeah. So did I. Yeah. Oh, really? Four Me years. Too. Nice. I played for since third grade. Damn. Yeah. How have we just finding that out? I don't know. It's kind of <laughs> cute. <laughs> Looks like you guys need to hang out at work. As well, if we know, it doesn't go out. Drum oh, there stream? you go. Yeah. Boom, boom. I don't like going to the club. He, I go out, <laughs> but not to the club. He only goes exclusively to the club. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> Okay, that's two. That's uh -huh. cute. So that was in Hong Kong. Was she in a video or no? That was just a side. She, she, we did she, a double she, date. Yeah, yeah. She, we did she a was a uh, two man in Japan. Oh, really? On okay. a sleeper train. Yeah. Oh, What's so, sleeper so she went train? from Hong Kong to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. She, she. They met in Hong Kong, and she was also going to Japan. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh. Damn, that's like uh, a rom com movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, I, I think Jimmy, she, Jimmy she, be she just, Jimmy be kind of having these like. I mean, these moments. are like crazy emotional. Like, does it kind of like. Does it make you sad? Like, does it make it kind of boring when you meet certain people? Like, do you, you know? LA it's like now. having <laughs> on Molly. It's like, 
Yeah, no, you're dating I, on you're I dating feel. on like the peak experiences. You're trapped like you're just talking about right, right. being on Mel- Melbourne on a boat in sunset. Like right, right, right. does it kind of, that's why you don't think LA women are shit. Yeah, shit. of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was about he, to he, yeah. He, he look at Echo Park and you just see the swans and be like, This is mid. Just a homeless guy like <laughs> ODing on the on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, it's completely like yeah. diluted my So fucking, you're like desensitized. Like, desensitized yeah. a little okay. bit, yeah. Dating in LA Maybe. is like wearing a condom to him. <laughs> <laughs> this is like oh. this is like watching like a guy that watches so much not you but like watches right. so much that like when they actually do it it's just like mm, yeah. it's not that great. Uh, but that's like the beauty of traveling. It's like everything's new. Uh, like going to a convenience store like I was so excited going to him in Korea and Japan like in Hong Kong it was like yo the, it's different like yeah. but, but the here, simplest here, things are just like I don't even like clubbing here like like unless it's like out of LA, like I enjoy it. But here's the thing: like, ideally, I would like to meet a partner who has, who ideally has the same like level of lifestyle and same level of freedom as I do to be able to like travel mm. and do these things with me too, mm. right? Mm. I, I think one like issue in my last relationship was that she was she had a you know kind of a stable job that she needs to be at like all the time, and I had a lot more freedom yeah. to, to, to 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 go. Places. But then that forces you like that forces you to only one option, Gabe. <laughs> that and also it just it just like it, it constricts my like ability to do things with what I want in life yeah Damn. and maybe like an influencer girlfriend it might be good too no, we, we, we just need like the opposite genders of each other to be honest mm. yeah but hey but how come dude there's millions of couples that find each other and do van life you can't find a travel in, like a, there, there, there's there's how many Millions. There's millions. millions. There's millions. 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 There's no time in van life. There's, there's millions. millions there's, Jeremy. Some are some are homeless, and it's not it's not by choice. <laughs> but there's millions. Hey, hey, but but you can't find like a travel like, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, there's so many travel. Like, I mean, I realistic. I, I'm I'm gonna settle down in a city. So it's like I'm not like traveling this this much is not sustainable. I just know that I want to do this while I'm like still young. How long? Um, how much more time do you want to do this for? Probably another like like two years. And then like just to your thirties, huh? Just to your thirties. So yeah, I have someone for you actually. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. I we'll I'll, I'll hey, Astro's, later, a, good, Astro's a good matchmaker. Uh, I'll show you later. You how, many, how many matchmakers has she made? Yeah, no, she's Let not. Me, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. no. I hate pretty much all your friends. Ma'am. I never hooked you up with any of my friends. That's why. That's why Unless I hate she them. A good one. <laughs> hey, that's why because she's a good matchmaker. She's I not. I know that you wouldn't like. Wait, your sister, Sarah? No. Wait, what? what? I, my, I have a sister named Sarah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait, uh, how many match... Oh, you mean Jessica. Jessica. <laughs> no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no offense. No no no. no, 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 no. She's pretty. Yeah, no, no, she is pretty, yeah. But no, no I wouldn't... I, she's not someone I'd be like, ooh, you know? Because I right. know your type, like, what sure. type of girl. Like, Vic can't handle loud noise. I would never be like, here's Jessica. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you. You are a good matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like she's not a match for you. So I just, yeah. wait. So okay, that's two. <laughs> There's more. Wait, yeah, what about Eddie and Oh yeah, that's true. well. Eddie, I mean Eddie right away. He went back for for banana. Banana and apple. Yeah. What about what you? About, wait, what, what are you talking? What was the question? Um, foreign had, love. Yeah, foreign love. Mm-hmm. Has there been anybody you've met in your travels where you were like, damn, different oh. place in life? I would. Get yeah, on my homie. knee. I guess so. Oh, what, what was interesting to my, my brother said was that like, uh, he's like, I don't think you fully explored America. And he's just like, you've been dating in big cities. I don't think you're going to find it. Idaho? Yeah, yeah, I was like, Alabama. No, was just, there ain't uh, nothing for you in no, Alabama. But I'm just saying like, you don't need to go like the middle of bumblefuck to be able to do that. But like, like go to a smaller town. Like don't go to the heart of New York and expect to find that. Don't yeah. go to the heart of LA and expect to Iowa? find that. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> and then just like just I'm saying like you could still travel, do other stuff. Like there's nice places to be in 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 like traveling in the U.S. that you can find somebody. Yeah, but but then there there also comes the the, the piece where like big city girls are they they it's just more they're more relatable. You know, I they think probably that probably have the same. I don't think that is more relatable. And I and I don't know about all that because then there could be chance plans, and on top of that, like in terms of uh, people who 
who who live there like clearly it hasn't worked so far like why not try something like what would be the worst that happens by going and traveling somewhere that you wanted to go visit for the first time and you meet a nice girl what if you just bump into her like in that corny videos and mm. in instagram and you're like then your life flashes before your eyes you know what i'm saying type of moment you don't know man like i'm just saying it could be anything like that true you guys are also may not be looking in the places that you guys should be looking that's at. what i'm saying like going to the club all the time like in, i don't even go to the club you know, that much huh I don't okay, but you know, let's, let's like night nightlife, nightlife, whatever. Like, try something else. You know what I mean? Whatever. Well, I mean, sure. no, we, we we meet just like outings with friends. Like yeah. some of the best, you know, like some of the best people we met is like through mutual friends, and it's it's not. I guess we just have higher standards for what. Well, at least I have really high standards for what I want in a long term partner because he's Same. also like. And don't you think that being more well, like if you go to like a bumble town like let's say i don't want to offend anybody but some town in america right <laughs> and, and, and small town USA. yeah they haven't been exposed to as many cultures they haven't ex been exposed to like the world in a way in a sense and that just like some of the most interesting people i met like my cousins from south america are so interesting because they're korean that live in south america all their friends are travel go to international school and when you meet their friends they're so much more engaging in conversation because yeah. they have so much more life ex yeah. like yeah. life experiences than me. Yeah, you know? and, and like, those small cities, it's like it's they're like really and, sheltered people. Yes, though. and also all all of my all of my cousins, I'll say all of them. That's a crazy statement. They're all just more understanding because of the shit they experience. So I'll be complaining Here. about something, and they're like, "Damn, you're such a American." You Here, let me mean? let me flip it on your head. So you're saying no! go, you're saying you're saying go meet people in the big city, right? And not and not not everyone lives not is, big city necessarily, but he was like, I think I'll meet he'll meet somebody that's yeah, well traveled. But here, but here's what I'm saying. So, like I'd say not like okay, can we agree that in New York and in LA, not everyone that you're meeting is from originally New York or LA, right? Sure. Who are the people who are moving there from smaller cities? These people are clearly have an itch to scratch and they come to the city anyways. They're catching them from the source, is what I'm saying. It's before you meet them and you get tainted by the city. And and you're 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 arguing that like, oh, they're gonna be there. Well, clearly, if they're gonna be there in the first place, you just catch them ahead of time. <laughs> Eddie wants an Amish girl, she's like, Sir Eddie. What is this? He's like, it's electricity. He like pushes on the oh, light switch. I love you, Eddie. <laughs> no, I'll tell you guys right now, like coming from a small town, like that shit's ass. <laughs> yeah, that's because you're coming from Iowa, though, man. That's, that's different. like every other small town. Uh, okay, Eddie, like, paint your fantasy. I'm, like, how, how, yeah, imagine the girl, like, paint your fantasy. So, like, what my brother said, because when I, when I was like talking to him about, like, oh, I think I'm going to go back to go, like, see this girl, he was just like, He's like, man, uh, you can literally, you mean, explore the East Coast. Like, you could go like, like towns around like Massachusetts, not Boston, but like, let's say Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Delaware, not Washington. But you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. these other towns that are pretty, still like are, attract a lot of tourism. Um, or like, uh, what is Cape Cod? That's like in. Uh, mm near Boston and he's just like you will probably like meet different people like you've only met people in New York you've only met people in what's this fantasy you have in your head Eddie? fantasy yeah that you're just driving down the countryside and you no, see no 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 that's unrealistic it was saying on a farm <laughs> chilling <laughs> you know, like, she got one she got down. one too she's like hello <laughs> welcome to Cape Cod <laughs> now we're gonna go catch some crabs <laughs> get yourself over here <laughs> you wanna come to my white house yeah. <laughs> What you <laughs> cute little Mexican? <laughs> you know, Mexican. Walsh, gallops. Hey, no, but I will say this. So, so there's this, there's this Wait, cute. Can little you please lower this? So hot, I'm oh, literally sorry, dying. I, 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 I Take got, it off. I got yeah, dressed like a take thought take right off. now. Turn Just sorry, to get some bad. air in me. Yeah. This, <laughs> hey, this heater is fire. It <laughs> this just heater is bussing. It kind of warmed up the room. Are you warm? Mm -hmm. My cute little bad me. <laughs> um, you, hey, you're letting the Cape Cod take over you right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? You're in LA, not Cape Cod. <laughs> bitch. Just look at his mouth when he was like, mm, <laughs> crayon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but uh, so there's a there's a desert town. It's like Vegas, and you go two hours that way. It's a desert town, and the people are so nice. They're so nice, and they're just. It's not like they they all grew up in the desert, but they're like they're just. They're just nice and different, so I kind that's, of understand. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. I'm not saying it like, have to be like I'm not saying go for like the unrealistic like once in a lifetime chance uh, situation. That's just like literally a fantasy. I'm just saying it, explore different places. Like I mean, that's that's at least for me. I'm not I'm not gonna force it on you. You clearly like to enjoy 
like, I guess, a, a certain lifestyle that highlights <laughs> dating, right? For me, that leads to disappointment. I can't handle that shit. Mm. That shit makes me sad. So I'd rather just <laughs> literally go explore things that I enjoy, which is I like to go drinking, but I don't like to go, like, <laughs> drinking and, like, clubbing. I'd ra- much rather go to a, a speakeasy, a bar, and drink there. Uh, I like try- I like fine dining, so I'll do things like that, or I'll like to go sightseeing. So those are the things that I enjoy. So I feel like I'm more likely to find someone that's going to follow those things, basically. Mm. True. Also, I realized that when you're, not, when you're not searching, that's when you find somebody. Like, you Big just facts. need to, like, do your thing, like, work, do whatever you need to. And then eventually, like, when, when you least expect it, you find somebody. Yeah. yeah. When you're actively looking, you know, it's like, yep. you get disappointed. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's the same concept of um, being abstinent or, like, uh, what's the other word? The, the celibate? celibate? Celibate, yeah. yeah. It's the same yeah. shit. It's like you're not trying to get s- out of them, so it's like. And if it just falls on your lap. Uh, I don't know. If that's, like, I don't know if that's yeah. the concept behind that. I think is that's more like. But no, it's the same same concept of when you're not looking for love, yeah. you're not like. It's oh, putting, it's, it's, oh, like it's coming you act to differently you. around someone. Yeah. Yeah. It's just your truest yeah. self. So it's it's like, like in the, in the simplest form, not talking about love, like, bro, if you're looking to fuck a girl, right, out like you're out for the night, you're looking to fuck a girl, go up to her, you're gonna talk to her way differently than it like. Oh, I'm coming up to yeah. you, and I just want to get to know you as a person. <laughs> Sweating profusely. Do you you're, want to go somewhere? You're, you're able to be more yourself, like Dr. K said, when you... Oh, yeah, that's who said it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck said that? Yeah, you're able to be more of yourself when, let's just say, you're like, oh, I'm going to be celibate, right? You're just like, you're not trying to talk to these girls to You're just talking to them as a human being. Yeah. And like being a companion, you know? Yeah, you're, so, you're more present in the moment. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I agree. All right, so we're just going to get to some final degenerate questions here. Go for it. <coughs> what is considered big in other countries? Oh, my God. You tell him, Gabe. Big? You, <laughs> Myself. You, you big everywhere. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I heard my my like boy a built like a, like a pyramid, apparently. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not no, going no, to these countries. Like a, is, it like, is it like this No, microphone? like strong at the base, <laughs> pointy at the top. That's what you're not He built like, like, like obelisk. It is not Is it like this microphone with the top off? No. No, no. No. It's like a football. You know what an obelisk is? You know what an obelisk is? No, show the show the show the audience. Obelisk, it's not even it's not even a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm talking about I'm talking about one of these Johns. <laughs> talking about okay. one of these things. Uh, uh, editor, put up a, a obelisk. Hey, yeah, yeah. Obelisk I, 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 this I got a question. Sure, yeah. I got a question. Like when you went to Japan, she probably screamed. But when you when she went to Colombia, she was like, "Oh, tiny." <laughs> well, I didn't hook up anybody. With the Asian accent, <laughs> tiny, <laughs> pequeño. <Can't do> <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Am I, what's, uh, what's considered big out there? Yeah, I'm not like no, no, no. What Columbus is with a, no, I said, with a measuring tape? No, I said what is considered big? Like if you like, what's the reaction? You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll say this. Like after coming back from Japan, I thought about like making if, uh, Japanese condoms out here. <laughs> because I was just like, wow, these fit better. <laughs> yeah, and like I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that you know the, the, my peoples would, would enjoy a better fit. Yeah. You know. And then, like just like how the oh, grass it's only is funny, Tristan. Oh. Uh, yeah. Why? No, he went like this. Uh, the kind of condoms you're talking about, I've had experience with those. Come on, it's not just about it's not just Asian guys. It's just white guys too. That well, he right. said. Yo, tri- oh, okay. tri- tri- Tristan basically. <laughs> Tristan basically <laughs> saying his schlong quiet. broke through the condoms. Yeah. It's a, it's that a, they didn't it squeeze that shit it turned purple. Yeah, he said that they were literally gripping him and it hurt. No, nah, no, nah, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just telling the audience. <laughs> right. They didn't, they, he didn't make it, you know. After Jimmy takes a picture out of the box, like, oh. Wait, are Asian? <laughs> they got are Asian condoms <laughs> smaller? Yeah. Apparently, really? I've never seen an Asian a condom from Asia. They're more Whoa! Like, what? You don't use condoms? <laughs> <laughs> That's f***ed <laughs> up. Ooh. In Asia, I've, I've never. Oh, oh you be uh, doing the nasty in Asia? Oh, no, I don't God. use. I don't Whoa. use typical condoms. I use those finger. You know, they wear the finger <laughs> surgery. I feel like, I feel like Jeremy, be Jeremy Junior soon. Hey, they're cheaper too. There's like five hundred in one bag. Oh, how would you know? <laughs> hey, all right, hey, hey, let's not divert <laughs> off this question. So, anyways, for you, out. you were like great. Well, I mean, okay, it was. They, they weren't like the perfect. fit. I mean, like it was a little. You know what I'm saying? It was just. It was like a better fit. Yes. You said than, more snug than, than, yes. than like a magnum. You know. I, Who be wearing magnums? <laughs> I use that as like trash bags in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> who's, who's, wearing, who's, wearing, who's wearing magnums? 
No. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Eddie turning red. Oh, Eddie, don't be shy. We know you swinging too. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> I, I get shy talking about my meat. That's why. Oh, really? That's no. shit. Please don't even. You're, you're, you're not shy to record it, hey, apparently. Hey, hey, hey whoa. <laughs> uh, they've, oh. done, they've done some good shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, neither are you. <laughs> I've been well received. <laughs> All, in all countries, I've been yeah. well endowed. I'm just imagining. I'm ima- imagining Gabe, Gabe steps off the plane and the women are like clapping. <laughs> no, if anything, they're on they're asking, Big dick, <laughs> big dick is I back. The, I look out the window. They're throwing flowers at the window <laughs> as I'm no, boarding on the plane. No, if anything, the pilot says, "Yo, we, we can't take off with all this weight on." They're like, "Sir, two check bags." And I'm like, "I try to get there first. <laughs> oh man, I try to get to that joke first. Damn. Yeah, but they just charge." They charge me extra sixty five dollars after my flight. Charge that, Eddie. What about you? Was you well received in other countries? Uh, well, did you hear me, man? I did not sleep with her. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't do the receiving. I just hope you guys know most girls are scared of big ones. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's no, gross in some countries. Yeah. You're it's lucky all, you didn't go to the countries where they think they consider it's gross. assault. You know, it's like stabbing somebody. Yeah. Oh man. The word. Word. <laughs> word. word. Um. So these are degenerate. Another I'm question. Here for it. What's up? Wh- which country gives the best? Mm. Let me give my theory before Thailand. Okay. okay so oh. <laughs> what the f- hell? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, no you guys continue. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're, hey, you're in. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I keep putting my arm down. I give her like the elbow chop. I'm so the sorry. third time today. <laughs> Your massage was the worst. It was like, it was like. No, no, talking to the mic. <laughs> Wait, so he the- said Thailand, and you said hell no. Okay, what happened? I Actually, didn't know ball- Japan, Japan, Japan. Really? Take it back. Yeah. The best. Yeah. We're talking about the best. So, okay, yeah. start with the best. So you said Japan. I said Japan. Oh, bro, they they like like. You ever see Japan someone in Thailand? Thailand. They suck it. I like, guess I thought it's probably because it was. I, I, thought, was like, I thought handy. Like men know oh. how to suck other men because they know how what? they like it. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait hold on. Lady boys. No, no, lady boy situation here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I see what you're driving, but no. That was crazy. Everybody was got insane. shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do it. What? <laughs> no, I got the <laughs> But she got a point. No, wait, wait, what was your theory? What was your. No, no, no. You didn't say. So you said Japan gave the best? Yeah. Okay, you Colombia, Colombia. I would. Mm. Yeah, no, no. You could say two. Well, I was gonna wait for him to answer. Oh, I say America. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I feel like Patriot. Japan has like mad teeth. Who? Who? <laughs> Japan? They got bad teeth. Yeah, it'd be mm. mad teethy. Maybe that one specific person. It would be that's, mad teethy. Yeah, yeah. that's a stereotype. They're so shy, and it's like. Well, they're also free. They're octopus like. You know, they, they be uh, yeah, apparently they I thought be, yeah. tentacles. Yeah, I thought I thought Japan oh, true, was actually true. freakiest because it's such a conservative yeah. country. No, it, it, I'd say so. Actually, I you'd say so. Yeah, maybe, First-hand maybe experience. you're just a freaky one. She was telling you to stop, and you wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, Bro, I stopped. I stopped watching Asian because they're literally too loud. I, I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, just shut up. It is just screeches. That's acting, vet. Nah, I, it, or no, is it? It's, it's screeches. No. Oh, it's not acting. It's not acting. No, it's the same. That was actually very interesting. I like debunked that theory. Okay. Yeah, in Japan. While, while I was waiting for you outside our Airbnb, that was, that was, that was a different night. Different night. Uh, locked you out, bro. Oh. Like, I, oh my god, we had to check out of our Airbnb like that the morning of, and then I, I wake up. I'm like, where, where the fuck is oh, this man? Bro. And I keep in mind the night before, like Jimmy went to sleep early, and then right before he went to sleep, he just saw me in bed like doing some work, and he fell asleep. He woke up. I was gone. And so you went out? This, mind yeah. you, this, this is, is Japan, nine, right? Yes, this is Japan. Yeah. This is 9.30 a.m. His, I see his luggage just spilled and we across check out the whole 11. Airbnb. I'm like, I'm calling him. I called Eddie. I'm he like, called me. I was like, yo, is this man, like, you know what there's man? Like, are you guys in a secret hotline meeting? Like, what was, what was going on? <laughs> no, I up pretty bad that night. And, and, and then, and then I, I just was like, bro, just, just check his location. I see this man's location, like, Kyoto. Ways. <laughs> <laughs> we were in Kyoto. We were. <laughs> and I'm like, I know nobody in this town. We're not in the main city of Tokyo. So I'm like, what the f- do I do? 
I, I call this man like d- uh, repeatedly. Wait, wait, wait. But you share location. That's smart on a trip. Yes. Share yeah. oh, oh my God, you need to. Yeah, yeah that's necessary. Because uh, God forbid this, this man's like j- just being driven up to a mountaintop. I'm like, yeah. Jesus. You, you know? Getting the best mountaintop. Head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I will say that night because when I travel, I'm just like... Irresponsible. You, you the, let him no, worry. That was the, the most fuck? irresponsible your thing excuse? you've ever your, done. Yeah, uh, but it was the most exciting. <laughs> what happened? Okay, so tell your side of the story. For me, it's like well, I don't. I don't like sleeping on vacation. Like there, there's True. just like I get an ample amount of sleep, but like if there's an opportunity to do something, like I wouldn't want to do it. So pretty much, I went out with one of um, Sneeko's friends, and no, before we met this girl during the street interview, and she was trying to hang out. And then I met up with her, but then she thought it was a different day, language barrier thing. So then I was like, yeah, I'm here by myself. I just started walking around. I had some extra coins. I'm playing like, you know, getting toys and stuff. And then two girls come up to me. I'm chatting with them. It's cool. And then I finally meet up with Sneagle's friend. I go to this club. I don't know what it is. This guy, Sneagle's friend is like, <laughs> he's like, he knows the manager. And I'm like, does the manager speak English? He's like, no, but he loves me. And the guy's speaking to the manager. Every time he speaks to the manager, he speaks in grunts. And I and I, like he tells me this, and I'm like, "There's no way this is true." And then we get to the club, and then the manager guy comes out. He's like, mm, mm, mm. and then the manager's like, "Oh, he's just so happy." And I'm like, "There's so no way this is happening." And then he just makes us skip the line. We go in. He gets us like bottles and stuff. And I'm like, "What the hell?" And then he owns the spot. And then he just decides to be a bartender. He's just giving us drinks. And then this this club too. For some reason, like it was just I was very well received. Like just th- th- that Celebrity. was the spot where girls like came up to me, and like even in other clubs in like Japan, like it wasn't like that. But that spot for some reason, I don't know what it was. <laughs> and then long story short, I got hey, you I got were probably two. wearing biker shorts that night. Look <laughs> 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 at stupid. He's uh, on the second level. Everyone's like, Oh, that's your ass. Go to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moby. <laughs> uh, but like pretty much, like I ended up fumbling that night. <laughs> no, uh, just fast, fast forward to like like yeah. six a.m. Yeah. Yeah, so you meet some girl. Yeah, I fumble that night, and then on my way out, I meet a girl, and I just meet her, and then she's down to go back, and then I bring her back. She brings me to a love hotel, and bro, this man like has the most endurance. Yeah, uh, for, like, it's probably like six a.m. on a night out, bro. Damn. Like, whereas like you know most guys would tap out like yeah. three a.m., four a.m. Oh man, I'm in Japan. I'm, I'm not getting. Any, There's no. I'm, I'm not like, getting poon tonight. I'm, I'm I'm I call it the uh, the the bender mindset. The bender mindset. My yeah. body physically will not allow me. It's to, like to you not go home. That's on uh, extracurricular. Mind over taken. body. Damn. Oh man. But, hey, did you tell him about Hawaii? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm not, did I? That one Ooh, night yo. on the podcast, right? Oh, maybe actually. Yeah. I don't think you did. No, I don't know this. You Bro, when we went permission? to Hawaii, apparently there was one night where. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, wait, wait. I remember the story. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, wait, yeah so Hawaii we was when. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. He did. Did we? Did we? Yeah, yeah. I think so. And he passed. I- they found him passed out on the. Yeah, he sidewalk. just woke up oh, on yeah. the sidewalk oh, yeah. at like nine a.m. Damn, you are. That sounds hella degenerate. But that was it's you. Exactly. It was. Exactly what yeah. it, was, it was a nice, there's, there's cold no patch of grass next to a hotel, next to the the the, the Ritz Carlton. You still woke up Damn, in so the Ritz middle Carlton. of the ground. I'm seeing a little trend on here. A street. You're a little. You're a little reckless. Oh my god. No, those are the two reckless nights. Wait, was this the time that you came with us? Yeah. Like with yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because before that, I was like sober. I, I, did, I like stopped Bro. drinking for like three, four months. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. And then when I drank, like for some reason, like up until the night, I was like, I'm chilling, and then like. I remember, like, you were, like, pulling a bottle out of my hand, and that's when I was, like, game over. I remember this. I put a bottle in your hand? Pulled it out of my hand. Oh, I was going to say, I would never put a bottle in your hand. <laughs> hey, he- but anyways, my so my theory about the, the best country that could give dome, I was thinking that, like, in Colombia, <laughs> they're all really good dancers, right? What does that so got to like, do with you know, dome? It's just, like, you you uh, know how to move. Cook, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know how to move your body, and also it's, like, a very sensual experience, and you just get, like, more comfortable with... You know, you're just you're more better dexterity overall. I'll say this. That I think if you're a better dancer, just Latin would, women in general are freaks. Yeah, but wouldn't you assume that if someone could dance well, they'd be good in bed? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that that was my my only theory. But also, Japanese girls, I feel like they would also be good because they're just freaky. Like, is like I think they invented the muscle. I mean, I think that's a stereotype. I don't well, think. What are they gonna do? Starfish and scream. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. You know, Japanese men like like His like face that. Is they so like disappointed. Being... <laughs> they, no, no, I've I never seen him really more don't. upset. You're sitting there like this. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's a thing. Like He's looking through all the Asian porn, like this sucks. <laughs> it does. I, okay, I, no, I haven't no. watched Asian porn in years. It's I, what it's what the uh, the men like in that country. You know, yeah, like yeah. they like submissive yeah. girls, so they're gonna yeah. act that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I feel like they would be super kinky. I mean, it's just like Christian girls, you know, like you're, they're kind of suppressed and then that's their way to kind yeah. of. Oh, yeah. No, I, yeah. I the girls, the girls that are like innocent, they're the most wild when they have a chance. Yeah. Freaky, all that stuff. They got, so they got the a show. fucking glizzy gobbler at the end of their contact. Yeah, you, 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 you would know iPhone. by looking at them. Trust. So, so am I correct? Didn't you pick Columbia? Yeah, I picked Columbia. Yeah. I was get, was it miles ahead or were you, was it like? Miles. Uh, Let's use inches for more realistic terms. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. Miles <laughs> ahead. Uh, it, was, it was good off of like, yeah. Just, so, where was the best top you received ever? Yeah. In life? LA. Uh, uh, yeah. Same. Well, I think. Um, uh, 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 never mind. That's it, no point. LA, it's, New York. If I had to pick of all time, but Japan too. Of all time. Mm. Just America. Yeah, it'd probably be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what that sounds like? There's, It's inconclusive, and it's all about the. The the painter, not the paintbrush. Yes. Yeah. Why is Brenda sure. one said? Yeah. It's also just a chemistry. good head is borderless. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're all like <laughs> holding hand. Kumbaya. <laughs> Beat the drum. <laughs> good head is non-existent. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Vit, Vit is never uh, a non-believer. Yeah, he's never busted from. Is it because of the teeth? Slurp. I don't know. You gotta stop by the little. No, because, no, 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 no. Because no. I feel like it's gotta be head and hands. Because you, you, watch is not big enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not even for like one hand or or like two fingers. On it, each it's hand. not at the same time. The whole mouth and the hand. No, no, no. She it's, can maybe it's, like it's mouth, the mouth a and little a, bit, and then the hand she can with do this. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not funny. Maybe like a hand and a lip. That's not funny. That's, that's not funny. That is. I stopped myself. <laughs> well, um, where would you recommend for anybody that's just beginning traveling? Where would you recommend they go first? Mm, it depends on your, like your purpose and like I mean, good head. No, I'm just good, kidding. Good head. No, I mean, there, there's some people that travel. On a very low budget, and I don't know if I would recommend some of the countries that I, I've been to, because um, then you would do like we travel semi luxuriously, because all the videos pay for itself, right? Mm. But a lot of times, people our age watching this traveling is probably they. I mean, a lot of times people say they don't have money to travel. Mm. That's the biggest mm. issue, right? So they would probably do backpacking. So, and then what are the backpacking countries? It might not be the the places that we've been to. So um, I'd say just budget, save up for, for, for these trips. You know, um, people talk about like credit card points, but really that's a great, great way to like build up points that is, uh, that you could use for, I mean, Tristan's nodding his head. Like he probably uses a lot of these points for the plane tickets, for the hotels, because it's just the points are worth a lot more. All right, taking all your points, where should they go first? Okay, so the only monetizable uh, part of the, uh, of yeah. the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I would um, say safe bet is Thailand. Safe, safe bet, bet is Thailand. Thailand? Yeah, it's cheap. It's oh, it's super cheap. Expats, yeah. English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thailand is like probably one of the cheapest. Pla- I, you don't know how many like like fake shoes I bought. Like <laughs> that look legit. Yes. Oh my wow. god. Wow. How much are the tickets normally from like LA to Thailand? Gonna ask that too. That's usually the most expensive thing. But yeah, any ticket yeah. to Asia is gonna be more pushing at or least under a, a thousand. At least a grand. A gr- yeah. At least a grand. Yeah. 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 But then so, when you get there, like everything's like. Dirt what, cheap. Like, yeah. true, like true, dirt true. cheap, like $3? What? Like, 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 a, like a fire, just one bedroom in Thailand probably costs a thousand a month. Dude, I remember Vietnam, yeah. you, you buy bowls of pho like a dollar. That's Ugh. crazy. Wait. It's the best pho you've ever yeah, had yeah, in your yeah, life. Street side vendors, yeah. I heard Vietnam is an amazing place to go to get like really nice like massage and like mm-hmm. spa experience. Mm-hmm. Like one of the best. Apparently mm-hmm. the nightlife is pretty good out there now oh, too. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you guys got like like clubs in the jungle. You guys, we need to That's go. That's what I've heard. To be enough, I would love to. I need to visit my family. Mm. Oh, we need to. Go. I just I need my passport. Oh, I, would I honestly think we should all do it on a broad trip. Oh yeah, I'd be so. Me and Jimmy like, so I'm so Thailand. I want to go to Thailand on a broad trip. Oh, like we all go. I'm not well, like like we just we'll, we'll probably have Utah on the Facetime, but. It's, <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no, no. That is a Damn. real one. If oh, out of you three, it. it should be like a dating show. Who, who marries him? No, it's like if you lose the show, you got to marry him. Yeah. <laughs> but but no, he said he could go on business, right? Yeah, yeah. There's well, he, a way that he. There's a way, but it's hard. Yeah, he but, might not get approved to. Like you have to. He like, has to be spend... non-essential on the trip. Uh, He's part so of like podcast. we got to get like a club out there to be like we want this guy out here to do a bartending course. Sure, sure, sure. And like yeah, uh, you know. But I I promise you it's so worth it, bro. Beyond all like the women, it, it's it's just like it's the peak bonding with mm, friends. Yep. yep. Because you're Absolutely. so stim- stimulated mm-hmm. by a new environment. You're also drink tack on the drinking, tack on the fun, but just in a whole new environment, and you're like engulfed in like this new oh. world. It's just last question. Is there anybody, like, are there people that you've gone traveling with that you're like, no more? Like, has it ruined no. relationships? Yeah, it could break tra- or make a relationship. Just out yeah. them. No, you don't have to out them, but you could be like, yeah, and here's why. Like, they didn't want to do it. Like, because, you know, you got to be built a certain way. You got to be like a Gabe type person. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't think it's necessary to name people. It's just necessary. It's like everyone can have the same, like, fun like everyone wants to have fun, but it's like, how do you want to have fun? And at the same time, even if people have different ways of having fun, as long as you have some similar ways where you could do some stuff together, and then if you guys want to split and do your own thing, like maybe you want to go to a spa, you want to. I want to go see Lady Boys. Go to a Muay Thai gym, ping pong show. That's what I want to yeah. see Lady Boys. Also, too. like like lo- lo- logistically too, like if if not everybody's built to like be in the same household, get get like a hotel, Airbnb ah. around each other. Smart. A lot of the a lot of the core fundamental problems that causes people to like not bear with each other is just mm-hmm. it's living mm-hmm. situations. True. I have a question. So <clears throat> you don't like to sleep, like you said. Like you like to do as many activities as possible. If you were to be around people that didn't like that stuff and they were just like, no, no, you go ahead, would you be upset? No, I mean, I did that that night. Mm-hmm. Jimmy went to sleep and then I was okay. just like, I got energy. I don't like, I don't do that every single night. But like, yeah. you know, if there's an opportunity, I, I, I would like, I'm just curious. Sometimes I would just be like, I could sleep and get like you know a good amount of sleep or I could go out for a few hours and explore this spot by myself like I literally went by myself mm. I think one one thing I realized actually no I'll save this for all because I feel like traveling what is it called like uh, going with people that travel like similarly to you is like pretty important because my mm-hmm. friends have gotten mad at me for not wanting to do like every single thing on the itinerary but yeah. I'm just like, I'm so tired. And this is like mm-hmm. my vacation. I'm spending money to like enjoy my time here. And me like being tired every single time and doing every little activity is just like, a lot of people do love that. But I'm just like, I'm spending my money here. I'm yeah. going to pick and choose what yeah, I want to do. Choose. But then, you guys go on, go on and do whatever you want. But, but I don't think last- that's... In the last night of Hawaii, like you had a good bonding moment with Rosie where y'all just went on a little girl's date, <laughs> right? So it's like, if the group is big enough. Yeah, I don't mind could. doing things like on my own or with like one more person. Like I don't have to be with everyone at one time, but I have friends that are just like, we all have to go like, get up. Like what as are you doing? As long as you do like, at least one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're always yeah, going to have one. something like that. Like, that's like talk for the group. I feel like he's just like, what do you mean you're tired? And I'm like, but I'm <laughs> tired. I'm just yeah. standing yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Nice. True, true. Well, this was a very pleasurable episode. We really enjoyed your show. Pleasurable? Pleasurable. Yeah, I'm pleasurable. glad to pleasure you. It's pleasure. about to get yeah, more pleasurable. I'm rock hard under the table. <laughs> okay, man. Um, no, you're about to be. Yeah, thank you for... what. Oh, can we do one more question? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So what would you advise if you are getting no woman in any other, in, in any other country? Oh, what would shit. you recommend? Like in America and any other country that they visit, they're not getting any woman. What would you recommend? They're not getting any Wait, play. you're just not getting any play around the world? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you, you, know, you know how like... They're passport, stumped. You're yeah. doomed. <laughs> well, the, the, build a spaceship. Because <laughs> <laughs> people, people like some guys you like to extraterrestrial <laughs> coochie. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you know how they say like some people travel like outside the country to get like the a passport girl? bros. Yeah, sure. exactly, exactly. The so like, if version. they're not getting any, finding any luck, stay like, home. <laughs> get the same. Get, keep yeah, not getting uh, girls, but you have more money. You're actually account. impossible. It's, great, it's, great, I, I, it's, it's actually impossible. A black hole. You, you, I don't think it's impossible. No, some of these countries you <laughs> literally pay, and they, they they'll, they'll true, be it's true, cheaper. True. Yeah, it's you true. just pay for a girlfriend. Oh, you could pay okay. for. Uh, you don't have you're broke I mean, yeah but you yeah, might pay for a girl and, and then your broke. friend comes and takes her <laughs> she, took, she took me damn I charged her after if you're ugly and broke go, go make some money yeah true true that, I mean, was, the, that was a good answer the only real thing is just work on yourself yeah like it's, a, it's about it's about attracting not chasing. that was the correct answer yeah. I was looking for y'all uh, <laughs> 
Get your money up, not your funny up. Yep. Facts. Work on yourself. Maybe you're the problem. Damn. Yeah, was this directed as one? Like, Damn, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. He was like, he was like, oh, that was the answer I was it's looking for. Work right. on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no, but isn't it facts though? They're like, if you really me. can't find anyone, it's just like there must be a reason. Oh yeah, absolutely. If if you go across the different countries yeah. and you can't find anything, you're the common denominator. I think yeah. finding sure. is just like it's a wrong word. Girls don't like nice guys. Huh? And I will say Speaking the thing the that has saved me on all these trips Guess I'll just is got to be super bonsai. A, a party of a ton in all these places I go. Girls just and like thank God. Guys. So I guess I'll just keeping me alive in the mornings after. Nice. Hey, you, you know what's funny? We <laughs> that one night in uh, Guatapé in Colombia, we gave them a uh, super bonsai, and in the morning they're like, "What the." F- you're in those pills. We feel nothing. Wow. That's it awesome. was so funny. Bro, once they woke up, they just started cleaning and packing like immediately, <laughs> immediately and then started partying again. I swear to God. Damn, like, that's amazing. It's, uh, it's a magical. All eight, natu- eight natural ingredients. Main ingredient is DHM wow. that detoxifies your liver from mm-hmm. vine tree, yeah. vine tea. Yeah, this is super Raisin. popular in Korea, you know? But yeah, like, yeah. Is it popular in like Colombia or? No, oh, that's non-existent. Non-existent. It is non-existent. Wow. non-existent. They just die fast. All they <laughs> have there, the closest thing that they have there is Sancocha, which is basically the same thing of uh, Hanbat for you guys, Solantang. Okay. So it's like bone broth, like soup. That's the closest thing that you get to like or a Or the other thing is just you rip another. Yeah. But it's anyways, pretty, it's pretty good. I don't, <laughs> anyways, we got super recovery, don't guys. Drugs. I don't even get hangovers and I still take it. Lincoln Bio. It's good for your good like for normally your body. I don't get hangovers. Yeah. So like I, I will never drink without that. Yeah. So what's the what's the craziest story from like traveling? Mmm. Devious. Oh, I will say it. Oh, but this can't awesome. this gotta go behind the scenes. Oh, Wait, which hey, can we, hey, can we put it on our bonus content? It's bonus that, content. Is that okay. crazy? Damn, what a story. Hey, that was a story honestly yeah that was probably like the most i've ever been i have a question hey put that little ending back into you know when we come back in right there are you guys ever like scared to catch something because like it it's like obviously super common in america but like when you travel outside i can't even like, catch feelings do you think i'm gonna catch a disease <laughs> <laughs> no i'm kidding like, people catch that first before they fall in the song please um, are you like I'm like super like scared of that. Yeah, I mean we use. Good it's just, scary. It's scary. We don't just f- anything all- too. Huh? We don't just like f- anything. Uh, sometimes we do. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, we get guys- to know them. Like you get to know a bit about their history. You know, you kind of like fact check them. Like, is this a uh, lack of a better word, a dirty girl, or like a girl that gets around and stuff, or is this like? Someone that you know goes to school has hobbies and stuff. Hey, but don't you know. think? Don't you think that that big titty girl was just literally? I mean, she did you, and, and then you, and you, and who? Did, and guess who she did two days before? <laughs> what no. do you think Eddie snuck off no. to? Why he wasn't answering his calls? <laughs> yeah. But also, guys, why do you think Eddie wasn't surprised? He saw the photo. He was like, "Oh, her." He's like, "Oh, we always get, we always get tested." Oh, cut out that, like, okay, like good, right, right good, when we good. come back. Cut that name. I re- cut that because name. I realized that. No, cut that name. He accidentally yeah, said, I said her name by accident. Yeah. Cause yeah. you guys, you know how like you're like oh you want you know you check whether or not they're dirty or whatever but I'm just like first of all you're not gonna ask them like do you have an STD and she's gonna nah, be like no yeah, you know nah. but it's like I feel like when's the last course, time you okay, slept with somebody like OnlyFan and like girls they be getting checked they're out cleaner. you know and they're yeah. cleaner yeah. Yeah. and I notice that people that aren't mm-hmm. th- like that conscious they don't know. They're yeah. just like, oh, I don't feel anything, and then it's just like, I'm like, you better get tested. You, nah. you know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. I like, I like, I feel dirty when I come back, so I'll, I'll, I'll get tested. Yeah. Mm. And also, like, we more so get girls that like we don't like take them back nah, in like, the nah, first s- hour. S- s- nah, some of them are are, are treacherous, but like, let's not even like try, try to sugarcoat it. No, 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 but it's not like when I think like just girls like that that would carry disease. It's like they walk into the club and like ten minutes they walk out with a guy. You know, like we actually like. I don't, know, I don't think it's like that because you're never gonna know who has it. Like you, you can't just yeah. judge a personality like and say what the what, what yeah. some, someone has a disease. Like yeah. Yeah, sometimes you don't even know you had it for like a year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. get tested. When I ask grown adults, like, when's the last time you got tested? You know, they're yeah. just like, oh, I mean, I, it's been like I haven't got either. They haven't gotten tested, or they're just like, oh, it's been a while. And I'm just like, but haven't you been with this many people? And then it's just crazy. It's just crazy to me how like people don't get tested more often. Yeah, that's why that, yeah. that that's yeah. why that shit keeps like spreading everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I feel like it's just go get tested, guys. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you it, never know. It's you never a hundred percent chance. Yeah, you get you can't just say oh I feel clean. It's just like and it's like you yeah. have 
like, like a bunch of random people. Like, don't you feel dirty afterwards? Yeah. I don't know. At do least what you I want, do. just be safe. Yeah. Don't do what you want. Don't take that advice. Do what yeah, is needed. Do not and do then, what you and want. And then get yeah. good condoms. Just think about right? it. Right? Get the right condom for yeah. your size. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and check up on them. During, yeah. during, you know, the no, take them out the package, Bro, fill them up with water. If they hold water, then fold it back up and put it in your pocket. <laughs> Yo, for my short kings out there, I recommend this. <clears throat> oh. See, I was thinking about I was I was thinking about making a condom brand last year. Did you stop? What do you guys think it's, the name would be? It's still in the works. Yeah, what, what would the small name? guy condoms? <laughs> nice. think? Slim Jimmy's. <gasps> oh, I saw, I saw Slim Jimmy's. Jimmy's. That's why. Oh, they really? Yep. It's really Slim Jim Jimmy. Slim Jims. Oh my goodness, that's, that's kind of. Can't you get? Uh, no, yeah, I, it's not Slim Jims. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they, don't they call you a Jimmy? Like it's a Jimmy hat. Yeah, it's a Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that the Jimmy's? Yeah. That would be funny. Interesting. I call it pocket hat. <laughs> so funny. Do you guys have one more small story? Condoms. No. How long was that story? No, they don't. That was like that an was, hour. I think that was yeah, good. Yeah, okay, no, they okay, do cool, cool. not. Cool. Yeah, that was Oh, Damn, oh the relax. Sagami Originals. 0. 0.001. What the hell does that mean? It's just a it's a big. It's like super big, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, Vit. You might need these. Hmm? He don't wear condoms. I don't wear condoms. Okay, see, that's yeah. insane. That's it's well, for it's but, for but, financial purposes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's he's just budgeting. But if you were to, these are really good. Were oh, they small? So, well, they're also thin. Ah, uh, also thin. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're also thin. They're not just. Uh, all right. All right. Well, all right. thank you for sharing, guys. Of course. Uh, I guess, you know, because <laughs> we're sharing a moment like this, like we're proud. To be whores, you was definitely <laughs> proud. You was definitely giggling about it. In the yeah, it, it, was, it, it was. It was just. Like, it was just like. It was just like. Dang, word. Yeah. Yeah, there's With a the lot bros. of twists. It's it was a just a, thing. It's yeah. a bros thing, and it's like you know, because we don't do this in like L.A. or whatever. Like for us, it's like if nobody's there, I don't know. It's just not as fun. It's just whatever. Yeah. There was a lot of twists and turns in that story. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. 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 We should start like describing how these people look like in, in your stories, like in more detail so that people could visualize. Because <laughs> I feel like that would be fun. Okay. Okay. How would you describe the okay. girl's face? Okay. You could like AI generate it. Exactly. Like, I feel like, I feel like low key. She, okay. I don't know if it's because of the big titties or like if she's blonde, or white. She kind of reminds me of uh, what's called Sydney Sweeney. Just a little bit. Nah, she got From like euphoria? horse teeth. Huh? From Euphoria? Cool. Euphoria, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought too. Right? Yeah. No, no, do you agree? Yeah, she, do you see it or no? Just a little bit? I, I see both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see both of the boobs. And then, yeah. and then the and then the Asian girl, I mean, from her most recent picture, she seems kinda like the Kolioko. The the Kolioko. What is that? You know that cartoon? No, no, no. Yeah. She feels more like a spirit away character. Yeah. Think about this. The one like, trapped in the in the I, I don't I don't remember all the characters, but scary. Okay, think about this. Scary is Baba Yama. Come on, that one photo where she's holding another head. Okay, that yeah. was that was a year Baba after Yama. our incident. I don't the know. Which? Can I can I explain? Okay, so she has like a pale face. <laughs> Think about those girls that like put foundation on their eyebrows and then redraws them with a pencil. But also the bangs that are a little too short. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like you had to <laughs> you had to cut it that high and then not not all the way straight line across. She but she, she literally she's cut the type to like pull up to that party and be like yes. Or like no, like just one word answers for everything. Mm-hmm. But but not gonna Gabe lie, ruined her. They're both they're both attractive in their own ways. Thank you guys. Thank you for coming on. Oh, what would you guys like to promote? Where are you guys off to next? And if there's anybody out there that's internet, we have an international audience, so maybe if they this cl- next month is yo, you guys got a lot of fans in Australia. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, We're like trying to get out there one day. Surprisingly, Utak, Utak is a dead ankle around our weights. He's like, I can't get into the country. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I, I think yeah, we, we were just like in a in a pocha and like, oh my god, you 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 you, you filmed with the just under the influence yeah. guys. I was like, wow. oh yeah. Let me, let me call him right now. Wow, that's fine. We talk, don't pick up. Yeah, we we'll talk, don't pick up. <laughs> that's the time difference, man. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, you guys have a lot of international fans. Uh, Gabe is going back to Australia tomorrow. Okay, um, how long are you there till? Um, until like the sixth. I'm going to be on a dating show. Oh, nice. Yeah, Love Island. Love, Love Island, Island for like a weekend, and then we're going to Japan, and then 
Taiwan, then China. Oh, China is the big trip we had coming. Ooh. Wait, like a legit dating show, or like a like a YouTube type. Yeah, there's this guy's called uh, Views from Six Eight. Oh, okay. And I don't know if you've seen them, but they're on TikTok and they they, they do like you know like Korean dating show or like more so Asian dating shows, and then. And Gabe's Asian, Asian, so I yeah. love watching out. dating shows. Nice, so I'm gonna be, be on that. It's like three days in an Airbnb. You've already practiced being in Asia, so I mean, it's it's all <laughs> Asians or just you? Being in Asia. Huh? It's all Asians and then I don't you? know. I don't know uh, the cast. Oh, got it, got it. It's a surprise. And then where are you going? Chilling here for a minute, and then off to Japan, Taiwan, China, Shanghai, Chongqi. That's like the cyberpunk. So, City but are you doing this for content? You're planning out some ideas, like why? Yes, so it's yes. for content. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So back to so, but are you going back to Japan and Taiwan because you enjoyed it so much? Yeah. Also, I didn't get to go with him, so nice, we gotta nice. yeah. Gotta so catch up. And then and then with your video ideas, are you pre planning them a little bit? Oh, absolutely. Oh, nice. So oh, so, well, sometimes like in like Taiwan, I I didn't expect to, to to film out there, but that was just like came up at the top of my head. So yeah. what's um so what's in what's in China? What are you what's in China? Yeah. What are you there's a, there's a cyberpunk city. Yeah, like called trains Chong, going Chongqing. through the Chongqing. Yeah, and it, the whole city is just light lit up with. I don't know. You guys never seen the TikToks? No, it's just no? like lit up, bro. L- Wait, literally, like, huh? We're like, how how far away are you? The twenty is China. I don't know. No, no, like, like what what month are you planning? To go? Oh, uh, March, March, like mid-March, like mid March seventeenth. Yeah, that electricity bill must be crazy. I need to get my passport. Mm. You've been trying to get that since. I'm yeah. trying. I just like I need to. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to go to the office and yeah. deal with it. All right. Well, where they, where can they find you guys? On the Jimmy Zank channel. All the videos that we referenced today will be on the Jimmy Zank channel. Yep. And you can find me on Gay Bags on YouTube. Moms love Gabe on Instagram. And I also have a podcast called The Morning After Podcast. We'll cut that part, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we drink Super Bonsai and Hard Nectar on it. But I guess we nice. won't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar Nectar Hard Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.